should just have a stare down contest and see who laughs like during this intro music. Next time. You're going to lose. I probably lose. You're going to lose real quick. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. L E S. All that shit. But we're actually more than less, bro. All of it. We're all of it. Yes. To Tambien. Also to you. <laughs> It was so funny when Jess corrected us the one yes. time. She's like, no, it's tu tambien. I'm like, we know. Yeah, we know. We know we say it wrong on purpose, Jess. We, Miss Garcia, we appreciate your Ms. awesome. Garcia, we, we love you. We appreciate your awesomeness, senorita. I like that she was just trying to be factual. She was doing it to help us. Uh, yeah, she She's was. Like, you ignorant prick. Like, like, look, Chica, we know we're stupid. Uh, you, we, <laughs> you dumb bastard. You like, don't even know how to say tu tambien. Yeah, correctly. we know we're dumb. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been another episode Yay, of Beer Google. Thank Thanks, so everybody, for coming. Hey, we're just going to cut Great. it out. Uh, Oh, no. no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, so, it was fast. sir, we just got out of this debate, and I know it's recorded later, but I like talking about the stuff we talked about because it brings me memories when I listen to this podcast. Yes, sir. But we just had a conversation with one Trista Polo and one Russell Polo about the Polos. Mars. Polo on Mars. Yes. Mars O. Polo. Yes, about the Mars planet. That was fun, man. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. for reals. I love that. So they're so different philosophically, and they'll hear this prior to this one or after this one, whichever whatever one it is. takes. Whatever it takes. Two twenty, one twenty-five, five, five, sixty-four. Um, also, I know this is going to be out in end of September or early October, but we are recording on Michael Jackson's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday! So happy birthday! Hashtag Michael Jackson Day. I sure. believe is on the tweets today. So all that. Thank you. And uh, pound sign. Once again. We released our special Square One episode yesterday to ridiculous fanfare. I mean, we've got probably 250 or so downloads. And I can't thank Miss Garcia, Jess yeah, Garcia absolutely. enough for making that happen. So thank you for that. And and obviously Taj. Yeah, for real. Taj, yeah. Mr. Taj Jackson. Dude's a stud. Nephew of Michael. Yeah. Two hours and 47 minutes. We could have talked for another three hours and I wouldn't even have known I would not have even known that we were True. talking for three hours. It was such a, we looked down at the clock, even said it. Hey guys, we're coming up on three hours. And everybody's like, huh? So that's just how that conversation. And that's all we want is conversations, man. We just want to talk and get to know people and, and love. And then we do funny, stupid shit like this. So yes. what are we doing today, man? Today is uh, a, a topic brought to me yesterday by my lovely friend, Mary. Late last night. Late last night. Um, and it started very strangely of... Why are the Cokes at McDonald's so good? So a friend of hers, she says, God damn, the Cokes at McDonald's are so good. And Mary's like, what? So she goes to McDonald's and got a Coke. And she's like, GD, they're pretty freaking good. GD. She said, GD, they're pretty freaking good. So then I, I was like, wow, and I don't, I'm not a McDonald's person. I don't go there very frequently, so I'm going to take your word for it. I have uh, two answers as to why that is, but we're going to get back to that. Uh, I, hang, I, I think I know why. So on the way home from her house, uh, my, my best friend Abel calls me. And he goes, yeah, that's totally true because I read an article that McDonald's freezes the tubes between the syrup and the CO2, the state and the CO2. And I was like, whoa, that's why, that's why it's so good. Part of it. There's what? also a thing called brixing. Brixing. Did they bring up brixing in the article? They did not. Please enlighten me. Brixing is the ratio of syrup to carb, the soda water. Yes, I was down. wondering about that. Neither of them mentioned that, but I was wondering about Brix, that. They actually, from my understanding, and it could have changed over the years, but my understanding was McDonald's was always very concerned about their product about quality assurance and being the same across. So they would always test that like monthly with a guy going around and testing every single one, making sure that the ratio is exact. And that's, and they'd reset it. The ratio of syrup to, to water, to co carbon water, right? To, okay. Cause it's the really, carbonation. Yeah. Water, the carbonation. Cause basically water. the syrup comes in one side. If you look at it, yes. it's like all brown and this all yes, clear and how they mix and they mix. Yes. So that's what brixing is that, that the, process, the mixing of the two, the amount of each right yes. together. And then the second one that I thought up with, because Wendy's changed to this and their sodas tasted better, large diaphragm straws. Their straws are really big. Their diameter is actually very large compared to like a straw that you would buy at the supermarket. It's like one, it's like double the width. 
and I think you get like a sp- more flavor all hitting all your tongue all at once. I feel like it hits you in a bigger quantity yeah. than a thinner straw. Therefore, you get that flavor. That's part of the other thing. And I remember McDonald's had a bigger straw and they went to a smaller one. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, like 10, 15 years ago, a while ago. Something that really freaks people out is, you know how they have the top, the lid? Yeah. Has like most have a crisscross? Yeah. McDonald's has like a six cut. Whoa. They don't do a four cut. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. I wonder if it ripped too many plastic. So much technology. There's fast food technologies that we have. We're just tapping the surface. Sir. I don't really care about any of that shit. <laughs> I just care about what it tastes like. So right. to that end, so the McDonald's the, soda is delicious. McDonald's Coke apparently the is, best Coke. is amazing. I, I don't. I can't speak to that. I haven't had one in eight years. So the 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 point of it is that led to okay. The topic of today's podcast is. Of all drive through, of all, pardon me, of all fast food restaurants in the United States of America or Canada or whatever country that oh, have a drive through. Wait, of all fast food restaurants that have a drive through, that is a requirement. That have a, they must possess a drive through. What is your favorite entree, your favorite side, and your favorite drink? And those three things can be from three different places. Okay. Okay, so let me get this straight. Go. I could get a hamburger from A. Yes. Fries from B. Yes. And a drink from C. Correct. Okay. So And A, B, and C would be their prospective uh, fast food places with a drive-thru. Yes, as long as they have a drive-thru. So that was posed to me last night, and I just posed this to you 20 minutes ago. So I um, asked Payway, or I'm sorry. Is Panda Express fast food drive through Yes. Is, and I just want P- some clarification. Please, yes, go right ahead. Is Boston Market. Yes. Does it have a drive through It does, but fast food, is it good food? Fat, like, it, what's, well, what yeah, can but Boston Market. You can get it within five minutes? Well, it's less minutes? than that. But but you have, like, a less than five minutes. If you can do it under five minutes, fast food, is that what you're going to? Yeah, what our, Boston Market, determined? you could probably get it in less than five minutes. I, I don't disagree with that, but I'm, I'm trying to understand because I still got to wrap my head Gotta. I gotta wrap my guts to wrap my heads what. around that. Uh, I need to know what answers because you literally just dropped this in my lap and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so, v- b- all, bombshell to me. All valid. All valid concerns about this fictitious topic. <laughs> that has now become real. So, between last night and this, this morning, I asked, I think, 12 or 13 people to respond to my survey. You know 13 people? Uh, uh, I know 14. 13 responded. So to those 13 people, thank you I so much. 14. You You're 14. I did it. not ask Megzi. because yeah, you dropped it on me. I have her answer, though. Yeah. Isn't that yes. Good? I've got Megzi's answer. So, I've got uh, Megzi's answer. I have 14 responses, and you are still compi- – you gave me several – Tentative answers when I gave this to, when I asked you this fifteen minutes ago. No, I didn't. I, this is completely new to me. I know nothing. Well, I don't know. This is gonna work out. Right. Oh yeah, do it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh hold on. Out. I think we need. Yeah. yeah, I need a step stool to put my feet up. We're gonna need to get you a boom mic and get you on the sofa. Yeah, bro. I need to go lay on the sofa and talk to my therapist. So tell me about your fascia. So, um, uh, father. Oh, oh he fa- has a mother and, and a, a father. father. It's a keep. I don't speak freaky deaky Dutch. So, any other clarification needs required? When you say entree, we're talking like a protein, like a, a main thing. What you would consider a main thing. Yes. That would be sandwich, chicken, like bites or nuggets. Of, nuggets, that, strips. Like in, a, in, a, in a pile. That, a that basket constitute a, or a, a salad. A, contain, a stupid salad. Uh, th- those, are, those are your main entrees. Yes. Then a side would be like onion rings, fries, tots whatever flippity flop mozzarella sticks and everything yes yes and then the last part of that now is may i have some of your lovely drink to wash this down (laughs) my girlfriend's a vegetarian which pretty much makes me a vegetarian isn't that the worst Mm, kahuna burger (laughs) all right i don't and kahuna burger is not an answer because i don't think it's real unless is that it well no that that restaurant islands might have one but that is not a drive-through, and and they have like one left. <laughs> they they have one on 99th Avenue. 
There's literally two. It's one in Desert Ridge and 99th Ave. Ave. It's it's not bad though. Oh, it's delicious. But they expanded. They, something happened. They had some kind of like America reward. West they Airlines. It was delicious. Their yeah. freaking fries with the ch- the cheese fries with the ranch dressing, and then their yaki. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Let's go. Go. Okay. Would you like me to start revealing some lists, sir? Well, I would like to talk about uh, a little bit about each individual on okay. their own first. Okay. Sure. Like, let's start with let's start with big one. What what does McDonald's have to offer that you would find any appeal? Well, obviously they're known for the Big Mac, right? Well, their soda, first of all, their drink, and not just their Coke, all of their sodas because of the bricksing that I that they do. Yeah. Is like across the board, really good beverage wise. Yeah. So sandwich wise, you got your Big Mac. I mean, well, if you step back a second, they founded fast food in like Pretty the fifties, right? Pretty much. And they had a cheese, they had a burger, cheeseburger, fries, shakes. And c- Cokes. That's pretty That's, much it. It was very big. And it was like 10 cents for a, a ice cream cone or some shit. Yeah. I so they, they started the industry. Right. You know, I didn't they, watch the movie, but with with Batman. They started the, it's almost like they were like the Henry Ford. Absolutely. In a weird way. It's line. not like they didn't invent food. Correct. Obviously. Correct. But they, have you not seen that movie? I have not. Oh, you have. Honestly, I'd recommend watching Founder. That is, remember we talked, it was Birdman. Yes. And then Spotlight, and then Founder came out the year after. Yeah. Michael Keaton he hit rocked it. the freaking trifecta. I mean, yeah. he was so good in Founder. It's so good. I, I recommend it. But it, to your point, the assembly line, like yeah. how they move, they actually timed their movements and the dance. They set up the shot, the different sections of the restaurant to be most efficient. How can you get the most fries in the thing? How can you get most patties off the grill? How do you get them, mo- you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So, I, yeah. And I think that's worth mentioning how they. You know, I'm Absolutely. not a McDonald's fan, but they that is groundbreaking for sure. So, Ab- to, but to your point, yeah, I mean, they're obviously known they're for the, the Xerox. Yeah, absolutely. They're the Coke. They're right. the Coke, the Xerox, the Kleenex. Yeah. They're, you know, that first name. Mickey you, D's. Everybody right. knows Everyone, Mickey D's, right? Everyone. And they have that distinct smell when you drive by it. You can, they're known, they're a cookie cutter. You know, they've got a quarter pound of cheese. They have a Big Mac. They have their fries. They, you know, and they've tried a million other things. And, and a diverse and, menu. Yeah. Filet of fish. Chicken product, a beef product, and salads. Yeah, the nuggets they do. and the egg McMuffin. A McRib every once in a while. Oh, they throw the a little McRib. pork out there. Look, carnitas. What did uh, Sam Kinison say about the McRib? I think he said, ow, ow, ow. He said, oh, the McRib is back. It's shit on fucking bread. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see the Simpsons thing where Krusty made his McCrusty sandwich? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So that's one of my better impressions, by the way, is my crusty impression. Basically, what they did was they took cows and they lined them up on a grate and then they just took a press and just pushed down. And it's just, that's terrible. Go YouTube that. It's hilarious. No. I will never eat a McRib again. All right. Anything else about so McDonald's? So, well, so tell me what what do you think so great about the drinks? Great and their fries. So I don't think anything's fries. great about them. That's a good point. I'm sorry. Their fries are very good, but they also only do fries. They don't do onion rings. They don't do a lot of things that other restaurants try. Right as a fast food place, they're more they're less diverse in that way on the side and drink side than they are on the well the drinks they've got now with the cafe stuff, but. All right, so that's McDonald's. What would you, if you were to get a sandwich from McDonald's? I'd what, get a Big Mac. Big Mac. Delicious. Not worth the money, in my opinion. I would get a double quarter pounder with cheese and add Mac sauce. That's how you do it. 25 cents, 30 cents makes your double quarter pounder with cheese a double quarter pounder Big Mac. But it doesn't have the extra bun in the middle. But yeah. you don't care about that. But right. I see what you did there. Yeah. Are you an accounting major? I don't need sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles. On no, a sesame I got seed pickles. bun. I got the sesame seed bun. So I got the what, le- no, little, you, you no the onions. Your buns onions? have no seeds. No, I think the I think the quarter pounder does. It does not. Oh boy. I don't know. I yeah, don't I think know. we're gonna have to. I don't give We're gonna have to fact check this before fifteen minutes before this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's like McDonald's. So Big Mac is the most flavorful. It's just a pack of flavor. When you take a bite, you know it's a Big Mac, and it's Correct. fucking good. It's distinctive, and the fries are good. But that's all they have. So you really have a choice of, you know, maybe a Big Mac, fries, and... I was hungry. Would you get a so- uh, milkshake, a caf- a frappe, or would you get a soda pop? I'd get a soda. Just a Coke? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, so... Dr. Pepper. So if we're going to do that, cool. McDonald's, done. 
Next, uh, Burger King. What's what's up with Burger King? Well, obviously they're known for the Whopper. The Whopper with cheese. No, they're known for the Whopper that you have to add motherfucking cheese every time. Isn't that the Royale with cheese? No, that's the quarter pounder, man, because you're on oh, France. Oh, is that? Okay, sorry. I got the Royale with cheese. Sorry. I don't know why we're Pulp Fiction centric today. That seems very I, odd. I don't Kahuna Burger, Royale's with cheeses. And that was even in that same scene. Yeah. Interesting. I love the smokiness. Yeah. The flame broiled, the broiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. aspect. Yeah. But it also has almost like a fakeness to the, tr- it's like that liquid smoke, right? So it's almost, if it's too much, if they add too much of it to it by accident, sometimes it just throws a sandwich out of whack. But they've got chicken, fish, meat, salads. Their fries are pretty decent. I know they changed this, the fry recipe a few years ago. Did they? And it's okay. I, don't I like think the cup it's... holder. Yes. Holder. That it's like the shape of a, that you can put in a cup because McDonald's motherfucking ca- their thing. The fries holder? Yeah, what is that called? I don't know. Container? A f- you sure. Fry. A, f- a fry trough. Tr- trough? Or trough? Trough. I don't know. How, I don't know. I think it's O U G H. I think it's f- like. There should Frank, be two like, F's. F's. Double E double O double G. That is all I know about spelling. Okay. Sorry. Move along. Carl's Jr. So, okay. So we're done. Uh, big uh, Burger King. Large chain. Probably get a Whopper with cheese, fries, and a, probably a soda pop. And then get sick. Worse. Yeah. And then, and and then, then go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> or just eat it on the toilet. Just skip oh, the fucking God, middleman. Dude. What, skip the walking. Do we have to ha- talk about this? You brought it up, bro. Bro. Okay. okay. So we're done. Now, Carl's Jr. is the kind of the Burger King plus. I, I see Carl's Jr. as a Burger King on steroids. I feel like the quality food's better. I think their smoky, flame broily flavor is more authentic. But is it Carl's Jr. or Hardee's? Because Hardee's, Hardee's is, in the is east. Hardee's is east of the Mississippi. Yes. And I think Carl's Jr. was its own entity and was eventually bought by Hardee's or it bought Hardee's at some point. I think they were actually two not same things because Carl's Jr. I think started in California. If I'm not it mistaken. did. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I went to high school with Carl's Jr.'s grandson. <laughs> Carl G- the third? The fourth? Yeah, I don't know which one. Carl's fourth. Sh- Beethoven's second with Charles Grodin? Yes. There, no, the th- third Beethoven, the second Carl's Jr., the second Jr. Junior, so, Junior, Junior? Junior. I don't know which one. The I fourth. get the dogs confused. I think he's a fourth. So Carl's Jr. started with the hot dog cart. Before he even opened a restaurant. No shit. So Mr. Karcher used to come to school with and give give out hot dogs and burgers. To you? Yeah. You had a pre-Carl's Jr. meal. Well, I mean, he by the time that in the 80s, he was, you know, 75 and he had a million restaurants and a million. He was a millionaire. But yeah, he would come and give hot dogs to, and stuff to us. That's so fucking cool. So that's why I like Carl's Jr. And obviously... The f- I like the flavor of the burgers, and in the eighties or and before the French fries were the crinkle fries, and I really liked those because they were always well done and crunchy. And then they went away from those, and Good I don't a natural care. cut. I don't. That's I don't like that shit. I agree. I think so, they, I think they've taken a step. Back. I still like the flavor of the of the famous star, whatever it's called. I was just going to talk about, but that. Um, what's interesting about that you were talking about the fries is that they went natural. Yeah. And I think they did natural for the buzzword of it. Yeah. But the execution of it with the skin, it just it doesn't, doesn't taste. They're it's not, not good. fast food fries. Look, I don't mind getting like a full salad, but do you remember when McDonald's had a thing called like the salad shaker? It was like a little cup. It was basically yeah, a clear milkshake cup that you just had lettuce and shit in it. And you put the dressing and shook it and then kind of ate it out of your car somehow. Yeah. Like, Bro, I'm going to fucking McDonald's. I don't think a salad's what I'm necessarily reaching I probably for. should have brought some lunch, man. I'm freaking hungry. Are you hungry? Let's, I just go, ha- let's go get some after. We'll come up with our answers, and then we'll go to the three different places, or just one, depending on what our answer is. Uh, oh, I just had an apple, and that was not a good... That was dumb. <laughs> well, what would you like? You want? I can get Megsy to make something for you. I'm going to be okay. Megsy! <laughs> 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 Meatloaf! Ma! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Do you want us to order some? No, you, I'm gonna be fine. I'm just. Uh, well, sh- can we go eat after this thing? Because I might. Be I, um, it's okay. After <laughs> Carl's Jr., oh, go. Well, we're not done with Carl's Jr. We referenced this last time. We were in a really <laughs> shitty small town. We all we had to do to escape was drink at college. I Let's recall, be honest. That's all we had. I remember. 
So we had hangovers every Saturday morning and Sunday if we didn't have to fly. Pretty yeah. Much. Carl's Jr., the superstar, the double meal. The superstar is the, the hangover burger, cure. Yeah. It's all like fat grease, and you just bite it. And that someone, I forget, it was my freshman year. For I didn't drink though. I didn't drink till I really was old enough. But it was always told that's a hangover meal. The famous, the superstar, which is the famous star, but double extra patty burger with the bur- with the fries, the old school fries. It wasn't the natural the crinkle fries. Yeah, because I haven't. You know, it's been a while. So okay, Carl's Jr. What else? What else we got? Give me, give me one. Uh, Stupid Taco Bell. Disgusting. But it's so fucking good. About twice a year, I'm like, man, Taco Bell sounds good. And I go there, and then about 4.3 minutes later, I regret it. Yeah. Megzi Every time. I go more than we should. I, I can't. I always regret it. You know, that it used to be like grade D meat served like just enough, edible enough for like just dog meat. What, what dog meat. letter is it now? I think it moved up to like C or B. <laughs> C minus. <laughs> Well, this is how you knew Taco Bell was unique because you had a 30 cent taco. And then the second you wanted something like steak or chicken, it was like $8.46. Do so there was a huge do you disparity remember, between the dog food. Right. Yeah. The dog food they gave nah, you that okay, was cheap. Yeah. And then quality. Do you, but do you remember not so long ago, it, I, it felt like where you could go to Taco Bell and you could get like a bag that was four pounds of food. For three dollars and seventy nine cents. Yes, and now it's like thirteen dollars for four tacos. I hate to talk what? about inflation, but yeah, is that what it is? Tacos were like sixty nine cents, and now they're like whatever. Look, it, yeah, that's what it okay. is. Because they're like a dollar twenty nine now, and I'm like, or whatever they are. Like a twelve pack is like more than twelve dollars, and I'm like, bro, bring it down to a dollar, buck a pop, buck a pop if you buy a dozen. How about that? Yeah, like, you know, the more you buy, lower yeah, that. Just exactly, a like bit. the Costco. Yeah, be the Costco bulk. of tacos. I want a five-gallon bucket of tacos, please. <laughs> Just stack them vertically, <laughs> like oh, tamales. Have, you, have you seen bam. the fucking? Have you seen the doomsday prep motherfuckers with their buckets of food? The what? Buckets of slop food. It's like <gasps> what they'd feed pigs. The doomsday prepper fuckers. Oh no, I haven't seen. Oh, the, the end of the food. world's coming, and this guy, these guys, sell five gallons buckets of like like pig S- slop. Slop. It's like. Okay, green. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Anyway, well, you know, when the world ends in three years. Ill regardless, Taco Bell is disgusting. Taco Bell, okay. Yeah. Immediate, I will say it this way for me. I have such a push-pull with them because I have an immediate regret. And then once that's passed, I have an immediate desire to go back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking worst. Oh like, it's like, may I bring up the next one? Because the, the one that you just mentioned, Taco Bell, is the one that makes me think about the one that I always regret. But I crave it when I crave it. I need to have it. Arby's. Stupid Arby's. Mother. They have this turkey ranch like the sandwich crafted sandwich. I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to donate to BoxerLove.org right now. Go ahead. But I do not feel very good after eating that. But it's the it's, most delicious thing going it, down. But it's turkey. I know. There's something in the chemical way they smoke it, or something that just upsets my stomach, and it just has a negative. Effect. Have you ever thought about getting something else there? Yeah, I've got other stuff that all it all because it's Arby's. Be, the beef and cheddar, just the beef and blah. but <laughs> but what I will say, they had the best side of all time of any fast food place. They used to serve Kraft macaroni and cheese inside. Oh side, my god! And it tasted like like Kraft. hey guys, we're gonna get a box and we're gonna pour the shit together and mix it up just the way Kraft we macaroni and cheese. It tastes. <laughs> What the fuck? Arizona barking did, spider. Did did the microphone pick that up? What was I that? Hope it I know. I felt. Was that an earthquake? There is a <laughs> vibration in the force. Look at that elephant. Uh, but something about cra- having Kraft macaroni and cheese as a side is just a delicious idea. And it worked. And it was yummy. But they must not have gotten. They stopped doing it. So they must not have gotten a lot of people ordering it. But every time I gotten it, it tasted exactly like like what I would say mom used to make. Yes, but it's really like we used to make. The comfort food. That cra- that's what you're talking about. Yeah. The box. The box, it tastes just like we make it. <sighs> Brings back so many memories. Okay, so in Arby's, blah, blah, blah. We, we got a couple more. Just Del Taco. More. Del Taco. Oh, fuck Not, them. Jack okay. in the Box. Let's go to Jack in the Box. Non-existent in a lot of places around true, the country. True, Let's go to the next one. But uh, I do like the um, sourdough jack. It's yeah. greasy, grilled in butter. Okay, move along. No, you can't. And then sauteed onions that are just an oil. They're just like. You, you know those tacos that they have? It's Sliced not, cheese? Are you fucking kidding me? It's people? not real meat. It's soy. 
A friend of mine used to work there. All of them? That's well. The, when when she worked there, it wasn't meat. It was soy in the tacos. Was the cheese real? I don't. I don't know. Or was the cheese meat and the meat was soy? I and sure. The, and the corn taco was flour. I don't. I don't know, dude. <laughs> and the lettuce was the Legos. I don't know. Mold. Yes, sprinkled mold. I do like taco, but I never understood the slice of cheese on a taco. Fucking shred that shit, please. Can we can we get some shredded cheese in no. this motherfucker next? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so Jack, in the, well, Jack in the Box is pretty it, like they they're they're irrelevant because they're not national. We're hey, we are a national, yay, may international. I say, international. We have at least one download from a bunch least, of countries. Two from Canada, three, Australia, three from the UK, four from Australia, Indonesia, I, Indonesia. Hey, Craig Hollander, what Welcome, up, dude? sir? What up? What up, my friend in Indonesia, doing great, great works, airlifting food to people. I mean, how f- now that's a fast food fucking place I can get behind. They have a drive they help they, people. They have a fly. They have a fly down, fly by. Well, all that drive by, drive through, fly by. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, you're doing great work, Craig. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Thank you for like helping all those people that, yeah. are, that are starving, man. It's awesome. So, how many more we got? Let's do In and Out because that's a regional, but it's a big region. I mean, go from people, Texas to California. People like when they go to California. They like I have to go to In and Out, and now they've come to Arizona. And there's, I think they're branching out to a few other there's states: Texas, Colorado, I think so Arizona, California. They're like Nevada. People, they go psycho. They're big in Vegas too. A lot of people See, go. There's a couple in and out. People are nuts. Like I have to go to In and Out. Yeah. Like wow, calm the fuck down. I've gotten shivved. No, I haven't. <laughs> but if I were, it would have been over an In and Out incident. If I were to get shivved, <laughs> if I were to get shivved, that would be the hypothetical behind which I would think it would be. Of course. <laughs> But people okay. love that crap. So what else we got? Uh, Culver's. Culver's Never started growing. There. Okay. Um, Freddy's. Freddy's. Yeah, they're. I don't know how big they are. So I don't. I've we got our major players. Very greasy. Do, we, do we have kind of our major players? Steak and Shake. They're not big yet. Yeah, and, but they're big in the drive-thru? Midwest. Steak and Shake has a drive-through, but Shake Shack doesn't. I get Steak and Shake and Shake. But Shack Steak and Shake. Up. People in the Midwest. They go crazy. What about like shit. in the South? There's Crystal. Chick Fil A, bro. We didn't talk about Chick Fil A. What about um? What's the other one? What a burger. White Castle. White. Ca- that's the other one. White Castle. Everyone went to Vegas to go to White White Castle. If you go to there, you got to go to White Castle, right? At the Casino Royale. No. Now there's one in Scottsdale, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. White Castle. What can you say? It's a dollar sixty nine for a fucking cheeseburger with holes in it. And but I buy a hundred of them. But they're real little, right? And I buy a hundred of them. Yeah, at a dollar fucking sixty nine. So a pop. you spend a hundred dollars, bro? They are so overpriced. But guess what I'm doing? You're drunk, so you don't care. I'm broke is what I am because I buy them in droves. Did you? Oh, yeah, they're sacks. You sell, you buy them by the sack. My are friend. you, are they one biters or are they two biters? I do two bite. It's out. And then, and then you, one, two, three. <laughs> Just one, two. Three. So, yes. So, okay. So we got, we got most of the players And involved. people do love Chick-fil-A as well. Chick Fil A is a huge one. Do they put crack in the batter, or they put it in oh, the chicken? Oh, what about that new one, Raising Cane's? Oh, that is a good one, and they are big, and they are they're very good natural. Like, yeah, it's almost like uh, a a real like a family restaurant in fast food form. Because the one by my house, the line of cars is ridiculous. It's the Dutch Brothers of the new fast food. It's. <laughs> You know what I'm talking but, about? Yes. Like, we're Dutch Brothers. We'll t- put a fucking Dutch Brothers on the corner of the most busiest intersection with only room for two cars on their lot. Yeah. And the cars, it's, they spill out yeah. onto the freeway. Yeah. The, I'm like, are you fucking? No, the, the one by my house is the uh, Raising Canes. Oh, yeah. The cars are into the street, like into the street around. It's so you can't even make. And those are two major roads. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's. Camelback and Central Dutch Brothers on that the north terrible. west corner. It's just a sh- shit show. It doesn't even describe it, man. But but anyway, all right. So we got our fast food places. Now we get to the nitty gritty. I'd like to know how bro? you'd like to go. Would you like to talk <laughs> about want- everyone else's stuff or some of the notes we had? Or do we want to do ours? I think we should do ours at the end. But you want to do ours at the end? I think ours. Are, okay. okay, look, we're most important, bro. I'm not going to argue because we need to shit on everyone else's to make our decisions look good. And what's really great about this, this is very much 
between you and I. So by the time Felicia fucking hears what she wants to eat, did she? Did she? Felicia's is pretty fucking good. Is it? Damn it, Felicia! You and I have this weird push pull right now, and I don't know. I don't know if it's tension, but it's probably just all in my own head. It's. But from what I heard. You don't like a certain someone on this fucking podcast, and why he took it very tell, personally. We'll get to him. We'll uh, get to him in a little bit. Why don't we'll, you tell Felicia's Alexa to do something? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, living room on. Okay, let's see if that works. <laughs> so, starting off, numero uno. Do we want to use first name but not dox these people? Oh, we'll fuck, I'm going to fucking light them up. Are we? Uh, did, did they give you... Are we cool to talk shit about them? Or not shit about them, but have fun with them. Uh, I, I don't care. Okay, sweet. Um, I like I'm not going to say all the names because I don't know all the people. Some of them are randoms. Ooh, uh, I, random number three. Uh, hello, Twitter world. Uh, hello, Twitter uh, world. Coming in at number first place is the Honorable Steve Miller, the most awesomest little dude in the world. Now, Steve Miller is the golf love yes. license plate? No, that's Brooks. That's Brooks. Steve Miller is Chris my- Brooks. Yeah. Steve Miller. Steve Miller is my littlest golf buddy guy. And he has the band that has... Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Because I'm a joker and I'm a smoker. Yes. Okay, Steve Miller. Yeah. Steve Miller. His entree, the in and out double-double with grilled onions. Only. Grilled onions only. Well, it comes with lettuce and... Right, but... There's a specific thing that a lot of in and out people who don't know in and out when we have to explain a specific particular style it has is, that it, on no it. right it's so it's not, just with grilled onions not animal style right just grill, right, grilled we're going to talk about because they come with onions he wants his grilled grilled right animal not, style does grill the onions but they add mustard the sauce and no. the sauce right no. they, it's none of that just the onions instead but of specifically grilled raw. onions not animal style. Not animal style. Grilled instead of raw onions. That's the Correct. only difference. Okay. And double double. What that means is two patties. Two patties and two, two cheeses. slices of cheese. Yes. His side is the loaded tater tots at the Sonic. Do you know what's on? Do you have a I believe description of what's on that? Chili on there. That's not a bad way to go. I believe a side. that there like will be an extra entree on. I believe that there will be some tums and some <laughs> also involved with that reversal of fortune. I was like, call. dude, and I was talking to him last night. I'm like, man, I can't eat that if I'm not like at home. Like, that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, how do you get if you're eating it on the way home? It's probably perfect. So it probably comes out of you right as you hit the door. It's probably it's probably very probably. efficient. It's, it's a, very efficient. It's a very efficient way of eating because you eat, you're ready to go. Yeah, the but second if you're it's down. if you're eating, like, you're like never mind. I'm not gonna. Okay. It's pretty moving messy, on though. You, but eating you got to use a fork. Chili cheese. You're not using driving. your fingers. Got it. It's you're pretty using messy. A, you're using a spatula. So in and out, double double, two beef, two patties, two cheeses, grilled, grilled onions, onions instead of raw. Yeah. Loaded Sonic, and we didn't even talk about Sonic because we tater have to tots. talk about that. But tater tots, okay. And his drink, and those are good. Tater, their tater tots are phenomenal. His drink of choice is the A and W root beer float. That's a good call. Yeah, from A and W, the A and W place. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's he's a stud. Yeah, that's a good. That's, that's pretty kick ass. That is full. The loaded, the loaded tots seem to overpower to me. I would rather probably go with something a little more plain of a side, just because I love the in and the burger from in and out and i root beer float that is a killer drink this on its own <laughs> uh, and we clo- we can call it that, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty kick-ass right <laughs> so steve miller thank He's, you for your a your band yes and all your, your music choices. yeah uh moving along Who, we've got next, some uh friend we have uh rando one are what? we on rando one or we got a, a name i'll just it? won't i won't uh the uh the simpsons with their choices okay uh we have like, Homer and Bart? Yes. Nice. Um, oh, homie. These are all from the Steak and Shake since they are originally from the Midwest. Fuck that. Oh, sorry. I, I hear it's good. It is very good. I've had a Steak and Shake. There you go. So uh, Miss Teresa went with the grilled cheese with bacon. Okay. Hey, uh, I, 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 who doesn't it's got love bacon it? on it. Right. I, so, yeah, like you close the door. Look, let's be on like Taco Bell with bacon. You're going to eat, bro. Uh, uh, I know you're right. <laughs> Sadly, you're right. The also fries from Steak and Shake and two Tambian fries. Also two Tambian <laughs> fries and Tambian. Also <laughs> Tambian and Steak and Shake chocolate shake. So apparently she has an addiction to Steak and Shake. Um, Mrs. Wilson. 
Simpson. Simpson. Mrs. Simpson? Mrs. Simpson. Okay, Mrs. Simpson. I believe we need an intervention. <laughs> I believe you've had too much steak and shit. Well, and it's also the fact that she doesn't, she can't get it here in Arizona. What kind of withdrawals? We need to have Mrs. Simpson on just to hear the withdrawals. Like, like does she, she just shake? The until, violence. Does she shake until she gets steak and shake? Probably. That'd I be believe cool. that's correct. All right. So Moving Mrs. along Simpson, to her, her, her husband. Husband. Her the husband. Mr. Simpson, yes. I think that is. Senor Esteban Simpson. Uh, his two choices are from the Freddy's, the jalapeno burger. Sounds good. And the fries from Freddy's, and his drink was from Steak and Shake, the vanilla shake. So we had a chocolate and a vanilla, or a... Yeah, we had a vanilla and a chocolate. That is correct, sir. I don't want to call your friends out, man. They're a little basic, bro. What, are you getting two out of three from the same place? Who are we to judge these people, dude? I'm so wrong. That's really German of them. It's very efficient. See? They only have to go to two places, then. See? She only... Mrs. Simpson only has to go to one. Right. That's pretty impressive. I'll get, you know, look, and when you're hooked on something, you know, when I go home, I'm getting chili, cheese steaks, right? Yeah. Over there. Right. Like, Watermark is going to yeah. be like, yo, give me a Philly, give me a Philly cheesesteak and there ain't no drive through. So I can't even have no cheesesteak place over my place. And there's not one? I don't think so. You just walk up and then you get it. Like, there's no drive through, but it's like a walk through. So you walk first, first you call them and you talk on the phone and then you go pick it up. It's a walkthrough. A walkthrough. But but it doesn't qualify, so we can't do it. All right, so Mr. and Mrs. Simpson are taken care of. Very, <laughs> we've got, we basically have to go to two places for them, for yes. all of six of their items. That's okay. Whatever. It's very, it's very German. It is very efficient. So I will give them that. But I don't, I don't know, man. Something suspect don't about ju- Don't know, don't be judgy. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson. What if all mine were for the same place? They're not. Well, I don't, and I, I, I don't even know what they are. I just know that they're not. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm still undecided on one of them, and they, oh, I can't wait. And they're kind, they might be. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, they might we be. The drinks are yeah. are not. I, I, I don't know. The problem with drinks is they're so diverse. You have hot, cold, sweet, bitter. Like you've got, yeah, like even like generally, not everything because salads come into play. But generally, your entree from this place is going to be hot. Yes. Your side is probably going to be hot. Yes. So where the diversity really comes in is how do we wash it down? Do we wash it down with a coffee or an iced coffee or a soda pop or a hot cocoa or a root beer float or a heroin injection? <laughs> well, I mean, that's where all the people <laughs> are hanging out coke. outside the fast Little, food place. You know, oh, line of co- or, you know. Yeah, well, that, oh, is that what you said when you meant Coke? I'm so sorry. Way bro. off. I was way off. Is that why the straw's so big? <laughs> Ta da! Thank you, Wendy. Full, what's that called? A callback? Yeah, right? Full Isn't circle. It? Full circle callback, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Mr. and Mrs. Simpson are taken care of. Yes. We took care of Steve Miller. Yes, Steve's, uh, Steve Miller's wife, Felicia. She, of course, she started with a puppuccino for her dogs from the Starbucks. A puppuccino is basically I, a cup full of whipped cream. Puppuccino. I. I. <laughs> They, you do that, your is your brain I, gonna explode? But it, I, but it, oh, Starbucks caters to the canine community. Yeah, it's a it's a little cup full of whipped cream, dude. It's ready whip. Yeah, I I and know what it, it is. Thank you. Like like I don't walk to my fridge and go <laughs> put it in my face. Ah, misophonia. Um, you should play a clarinet sound. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I did not know that Starbucks catered to star pups. Star pups. That just disgusts me. Because it's not human food. I'm sorry. And, it is human food. Uh, it is human it's, food. Uh, you also get it on your cappuccino. Uh, would you like whip on your mocha? Yes, I would. Would you also put some in a cup for my dog? And here I was thinking that Felicia and I would finally bury the hatchet after during this podcast. And now we're just finding a greater divide. I'm sorry, or you're welcome. I don't. Well, Felicia hates me, so well, she no. really hates. I should bring. You know what? He's going to come in from some random point. He's going to give Felicia a piece of his mind. It's like Guado from fucking Total Recall. Please pull your Quaid. shirt down. Quaid. Oh, God, fuck. Open it up, Quaid. 
Okay, Felicia, go ahead. With the Mars references. Puppuccino for her dog. Fucking Look, Jesus. I, Felicia, you, you are actually really awesome. And your support for Chris from the way he shared yeah, is just she's awesome. A so star. thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Felicia. Yeah, they adopted me. Hello. Did they really? Is that what? Did you get a puppuccino in the morning? Fuck yeah. Because they adopted you. Yeah. They scratched they, my they, ear. They lock, lock me in my crate all the time, though. I'm not good with that shit. All right. So, Felicia, let's continue. She ha- So, puppuccino for her dog. How many dogs do they have and what kind? Because I don't know dogs. They have I'm, three dogs. Okay. They so, have, she get three puppuccinos? Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess. I don't know. What? How much does Starbucks charge for? They're free, ready bro. Whoops. So, they just charge us for... Giving your Felicia extra whipped cream and free cups. So they charge me $8 for a fucking coffee because they're giving your fucking dog free well, whipped cream? Bu- you, have to, you have to buy coffee, dude. You can't just oh. go there and get it. You have to buy a cup of coffee. You have to buy something. But my point is that cost is still on on my shoulders, bro. Felicia, you and I are back. We were going to make up. This is the weirdest fucking... I got, I'm. I, we should have went with the religion one after talking about these burgers. Why? These because you're hungry. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> Dick. Puppuccinos. What kind of dogs? She's got a Chihuahua <laughs> named LB, also known as Little Bit. That's what they named the dog, LB, because I like him. she rules the house. And there's I was Lyndon B. Johnson. Lyndon, Lyndon B. B. Johnson. That's correct. She's my little girlfriend. She's <laughs> like seven pounds of sexy. Chihuahua weighs that much? I thought they weighed less than that. Oh, no. Can you bowl them? Yeah. It's like eight-pound ball. A boom. And then there's Red and there's Tucker. They're like big black dogs. Big black mm. dog. B- BBD? Yeah. That's Belle Biv DeVoe, bro. We can't do Sorry. that. Sorry. That's Boys to Men ABC Poison. BBD. Sorry. Poison. P- 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 poison. Sorry. <laughs> Felicia, you and me are cool now. You got three yeah, dogs. Boom. You can pep- puppuccinos. Yes. Next. So uh, Felicia's entree. The original double with cheese from Steak and Shake. This Steak and Shake's picking up. Is she from also from She's the Midwest? She's from the uh, Indianas. Is she Tutambian, the Midwest? Tutambian, Indianas. <laughs> okay. That's Midwest. Yeah. Uh, okay. Her drink is the Grande Nitro Cold Brew with sweet cream. From? The Starbucks. Of course, because she has to get puppuccino. And what's the side? She did not say. That's a lie. She didn't what? say. Bro. Bro. Are there any more on here? There's no more on the list. Oh, oh okay. And so I we got random the, dudes. The most like, of the uh, rest of the lists are on the telephono, sir. <laughs> so while while we have this downtime and you're looking through this. I'm, I'm ready to go. I would just like to thank everyone for listening in the first place. This week we launched something. We launched a pretty big podcast and it got a lot of attention. Through that, some people have reached out to us and shared with us that they actually listen to us. Like, not listen to us, like, take our advice, but, like, they find us not annoying to listen to <laughs> during a day. <laughs> so, with that said, I just want to thank everyone who's been so kind and gracious to us to give us a chance. And and for that, because we really do want to make some kind of difference. Whether it's, whether it's someone sitting in a cubicle feeling alone because they're working really late and they hear us and we make a joke and they chuckle, you know, that, that touches my heart. It really does. Like, I, I'm really moved by that. And this week has been a really awesome thing. And I'm going to get off the soapbox. Here you go, sir. I couldn't agree more, dude. I love you, brother. I love you too, man. It's very well said, very, very well put. It's- we didn't know our impact. We honestly thought it was the two of us just bullshitting for hours, putting it up, and no one listening. Well, like, it is the two of us bullshitting, right. putting it up. Right. But the, even if, you know, we... One person. Exactly. You stole it. You, you mother trucker. You're fucking thief. I'll let you finish And then you're absolutely there. right. You know what? I, you're absolutely... No, you can... I'm done. You're absolutely right, dude. Well, well done. So we will probably... We do want to name drop some people, but I don't want to do it without them... He, knowing that that might happen. So there's a couple people I'd like to acknowledge, but we'll just, know, just know that you're not alone. Absolutely. Know that you have a connection. Feel free to read. Look, at Woodsy the Owl. What up? And at Not Con. Hello, here. Twitter world. We're here, Twitter world. <laughs> Hello, Twitter world. I always say ladies first. I think that's going to be our running theme. That's terrible. OJ says ladies first. It's our courtesy and respect, bro. So while Chris, look at, thank you. Thank you to anyone who just gets a single chuckle out of this, like puts us on in the background and just feels like there's somebody that's kind of hanging out with them. If they feel a certain way, if they feel alone or lonely or whatever, we're here. 
we're, we're totally here. You can play us over and over again. I wouldn't recommend that, <laughs> but we're here, you know? So please know that we are, we feel the re part of the reason we did this is because we feel the way you probably feel isolated alone and whatever this brought Chris and I, we've known each other 28 years, but it brought us closer together in this way. And you know, we had an idea going into today. We had a, a topic we were going to do. Chris comes in and goes, Hey, this came last night. And we're like, okay. And look, <laughs> look, look what we're doing. Like, this is, this is what it's all about is this is true connection. This is where, you know, you really understand that we're trying to make a human connection with people. So thank you. Go team hamburger. And side and drink. Yes. So, so we have randos. No, um, oh, sorry. We've got a Next. couple randos, but these are some, uh, some dudes in the GA shout out. The dudes in the GA. Uh, That's Georgia for those. And not, Georgia? not Georgia, the country. No. Where I, these peoples come from. This is not Georgia's countries. is Georgia state. Yes. Like the university is your Georgia state. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Check Mark. That was Georgia Mark, bro. That was Georgia check Mark. Mark. Check oh, Mark from the Czech Republic. I was bro. way off. He Wrong drinks country. absinthe and the tears of children. God, it's weird. Like Stalin, but That's different. His drink. I I like to get to the fast food place. I am far too looking for tears of, dr of children in drink place. Can I have a uh, Starbucks nitro tear drink place? In the skulls of my enemies. <laughs> Skull. I am far too looking for this place. I like the Chernobyl drink. It's glowy. It's warm. It feels good, <laughs> and it makes me go like all the other side. And I can get a I can get one of them's cat skins without having to drink more, because it's got radioactivity. Does he use it. punctuation? I don't know. He no punctuate punk. You a punk. Are you done? You're, yes. Moving along. Next on the list. Georgia Mark. One day when you're drinking your Coke Zero, I'm going to make a joke and it's going to come out your nose and I can't wait. There's a Georgia Mark. There is now. Fuck you, Georgia Mark. Phoenix Mark is here. I don't know. Uh, That's stupid. So confused. I, it's probably more like Arizona Mark or Pennsylvania Mark. Okay, what but I've got water. I've got three marks. I've yeah. got four marks. I don't need any more. Yeah, Czech, Deutsch, and Wooder. Wooder and Mark. Yeah, and you, <laughs> and Pennsylvania. <Mark. laughs> okay, what did Georgia Mark have to say? He's just left. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ill. Regardless, moving along to GA number one. GA number one's list on the entree. Captain D's. Three piece fish dinner. I don't know what any of that means. I, I know what three and I, I know, know what, what piece fish. and fish and dinner mean. I don't know. Captain. I do not know this whole <laughs> statement together. Uh, it's like a politician talking. I know those words are all in English, but I don't know what they mean together. So I assume <laughs> Captain D's is a drive through fish place. Like our Pete's fish and chips, maybe? Uh, maybe, perhaps. Okay, so. That's shitty. That's a shitty one. That's like picking the the one place that has like one. Well, maybe there's a thousand of them in Georgia, dude. Or out. It's like I don't the know. first Filiberto. <laughs> it's like Filiberto one. It wasn't Filiberto's. It was Filiberto. Well, it's apostrophe. Yeah. So it's still his. Sure. But um, and then Robert, and then Humberto's, and then Broberto's. How Fred many Rico's. fucking Rico Berto? There's a lot of Rico's those, dude. There. There's, there's Rico Suave. <laughs> I, 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 suave. There's snow informer. Oh, uh, okay. You know. <laughs> so Captain D, whoever the fuck you are, Captain D, thank you. Do you want to look it up? I will. No, go don't. ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll look it up while you finish the rest of this. Watch, he's got like nine million restaurants, and we just don't never heard of it. There's like one a mile away, we just never heard of it. There probably is. <laughs> um. This side was the KFC coleslaw. To your point about a cold side versus a hot side. Nice. Boom. Also runs through me like a freight train. <laughs> <laughs> With this episode is brought to you by Rolades. <laughs> oh my God. I think it's brought to you by Milk of Magnesia or Pepto. Pepto I got to keep. Small. The point is you got to keep the, you got to keep it thicker. Yeah. So you gotta th you gotta add a thickener. You, you gotta add like gluten. a banana. You gotta add gluten to your stuff. <laughs> so you need a loaf of wheat bread. <laughs> well, that's the gluten, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so, and rounding out the drink, the Taco Bell 
Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Is that that motherfucking blue one? I God damn it. Is this Georgia Mark? Are we talking to Georgia Mark right now? Yeah. Okay. Georgia Mark. You and I have to have words, my friend. I, it's green or blue. Yeah, it's that fucking teal fucking I really want to try it. It looks Don't. really good. It looks really refreshing and crisp. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I fucked that one up. <laughs> where? Where is... Did I... Did this I push the wrong button the whole fucker? time? I think I pushed the whole... I fucked up story time for Tristan and Russell because I gave them the dive horn every time. Oh, but we didn't know because I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking moron. But that's cool because I'm handsome. You are. And you're, handsome, you're handsome mother dude. trucker. And I don't know if you know this, but I think you're still single even after the last podcast. I uh, <laughs> I so, think I'm still single. So in a, in a, in a very concise way i'd like to say hello twitter world christopher is still single yeah twitter verse i like twitter verse that's a fun one so um georgia mark and i are having words so why here's do my you story hate time. the blast so much twice not once but twice fast food places kind of do everything as an assembly line they just throw the, are you f- <laughs> you motherfucker I heard a swallow, but you know, slurp. Thank you for not slurping. Oh, it's shit. almost like, thank you for smoking. Remember, thank you for smoking with Aaron Eckhart. Yeah. Thank you for not slurping. Thank you for not smoking. So twice. Now, Megzi, I'm going to give you Megzi's because we might as well get that out of the way. Her's favorite food, entree, Mexican pizza. No joke. From, from Taco Bell? From the Bell. Okay. That's why. And I like the Mexican pizza as well. However, I do too. We have two differences she likes it sans beans she does not like beans on it because the flavor overpowers the rest of the flavor totally makes sense it's I, legit I, I get that yeah i would get the beans on i'd be like throw a cup of beans on the side then and i'll just eat them or something but she just gets it without because of that okay i get them with so when we order we order like the number eight i think it is and one is with beans and one is without so that's already confusing to taco people that work at the taco bell make one different than the other like they're not used to that because it's tacos, for God's sakes. You just throw the shit in a fucking shell and be done with it, right? Yes. Okay. Twice we have ordered Diet Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. Now, if I ask you for a Diet Mountain Dew, what are you giving me? A Diet Mountain Dew? Do you know what they gave us twice? Mountain Dew. That Baja fucking shit blast motherfucker. Oh, you were in the drive-thru. I was in the drive-thru. Sorry. Okay. I didn't choose I my own Baja. I pictured you in the restaurant. I'm I so apologize. Sorry. We're in the drive-thru. And okay. Go, I fucked this up. I can't even do story time right anymore. I thought you were filling your own cup, and I was like, "No, you gave yourself." I'm like, "Hey, you fucker, I'm Mark, you. get a Diet Mountain Dew," and you like gave yourself a Dr Pepper. I'm like, "Damn it, Mark, you fucked up your drink." <laughs> when you when you have four fucking marks up in here, well, shit, who's gonna fucking run the roost? Which right marks now? working at the yeah. Taco Bell? Is Jack Mark a Baja Mex- Blast Mexi guy? Mexi Mark is working at the Mexi Mark. Hey, fucker! Hey, hey give what me up, a Baja Blast. Okay, so. Twice we ordered through the drive-thru. Just Diet Mountain Dew. So it's is that, Mountain is Dew. Is Diet Mountain Dew on there? Yes. Li- it okay. is the it is like it's Coke or Diet Coke or Pepsi Diet Pepsi. Yeah, they're Pepsi. Mountain yeah. Dew Diet Pepsi. Diet Mountain Dew. It's like it's not special. It's the diet version of oh, their ma- second most fucking popular non-diet yeah, yeah, drink. Yes. And we got the Baja <sighs> thing twice. And I'm like, what part of Diet Mountain Dew comes out Baja Blast Mountain Dew Diet? Like, what? how do you fuck those two up? I don't see how that's possible. Maybe they're colorblind. The receipt. That was a joke, dude. Because no, it's, it's, it's blue. My joke was trying to be extra serious and it <laughs> really backfired. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, George and Mark, that you chose Baja Blast, you, uh, you instantly not... You've already been unfriended and we haven't even friended each other yet. He's a great dude. But Captain D sounds pretty good. If he brings me Captain D's like right now... It, so hang on okay is the baja drink disgusting in my opinion it's undrinkable is that because it's too sugary well it, there, there it's a diet oh it is diet it's not about the flavor is sweet regardless okay. right even the diet in my opinion diet mountain dew and diet dr pepper are the two closest to their original counterparts okay those those are the close it's a completely different flavor palette it just throw it's almost like if I if everyone knows Sonic and got the ocean water, and if you let it sit <laughs> in your car for a week and then try to drink, it just tastes off. Like it just doesn't taste right. It's like they try to add coconut or try to add a flavor. It just doesn't work. 
feel free to get it. But what I would do is get it at the store so you can pour it out the second you took a sip of it and then put it put real soda in it. It's my opinion. Okay. Steve Miller mentioned the ocean thingy you said last night too. We're going to talk ocean about water. That. Yeah. You want to look up Captain D's? Oh yeah. Why? Well, okay. So next one. Go ahead and okay. Georgia Mark. I'm just messing with you, right? Please no. You and me could be friends. All right, we we share the same name. Does he spell with a C or a K? His name's not Mark. I thought you said Georgia Mark. No, because you were talking about oh, Georgia Mark. the country oh, Mark. This is, His name's oh. not Mark. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not going to worry about it. For, forget Captain D's. Next on I'm the list. I'm looking it up, bro. Don't do it. He, he did have a comment, though. FYI, the Nacho Crunch Double Stack Tacos at Taco Bell are fantastic. And only a dollar each. Him and his wife just had a $4 lunch. That's amazing. How how hungry are they about three minutes after they swallow? Probably famished. Because to your point, Taco Bell used to be that. Yeah. Used to totally be that, like, come with five bucks and you're coming out stuffed. Nacho Crunch Double Stack. Nacho. Yeah, that's too tall. That, that's not. Double Stack. It sounds like the Tostada. Maybe they're fasting. The Tostada Crunch. <laughs> but I like their cinnamon twists. Yeah. And I love their just plain nachos with their liquid plastic. Oh, God, no. Their chips are The terrible. yellow plastic is delicious. It's terrible. Ch- chips are terrible. 539 restaurants. Okay. Captain D, you have officially made they? anything over Captain 500. Captain D is in chain. Uh, they're in Tennessee. Tennessee. Na- Nashville, Tennessee, please. I am forward to looking for the Nashville's. Nashville. All right. Moving is, along. Is there a fast food place that has a V in it or has a V that it starts with which it starts so that check mark can like have fun with it? Virginia's. I don't know. I don't know. Google. Avocado? Googles. Avocados? Yes. Abrocados. Like, oh, bro. Abrocados. We haven't said bro in a while. I did too much last time. I did the time before, so we're, we're even. <laughs> so Captain D's does count, ladies and gentlemen. We've got over 500 locations. That's, that's legit. It seems fair. Yeah, and it's in a different state than it's headquartered. So now that it's multi-state, so that like definitely... It's cross border because it's out of Nashville, but he's from Georgia. Yeah. So obviously, unless unless it's a steak and shake thing, but where he goes to Nashville only to get it. Kind I of. don't think he goes to Nashville. <laughs> Can he spell Nashville? I yeah, he's a smart freaking dude. Oh, yeah. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he tell you what though? He he. We're not going to get in there. Hates but, that expression. Okay, thank you. That's and then cute. we jab each other whenever we hear somebody else say it. That's cute. See you too. Oh yeah, he's God, a you're... smart freaking dude. Is he like the? Is he like the the work wife? Like, is he like the mark to you at your work? Because I don't have a Chris. He's at my one. Work. He's like one woman. of like five. Yeah. Okay. I have cool. like five of those. That you have. Such I'm a, a whore. whore life, I'm man. a he bitch man whore. I don't think you're a whore. I think you just have such an open like. You're just very welcoming. As bitter and hurtful and, <laughs> and angry as you are, which you're really not. You're the warmest person I know. But, um, well, not thermally, but definitely. Like, I'm a sweater for sure. Uh, I definitely we sweat. We sweat too much. Yeah. But it's. But that but that said, man, it's so cool that you have so many good friends. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. I, don't, I think I've so only met Captain him once. D's, uh, what is the, can he give his first name? Chris. Chris. Oh, Wait a minute. He's Georgia Chris. Yeah. And I've been calling him Georgia Mark. Yeah. That sounds so stupid. It's going to be okay. Let's move along. Okay. 500 restaurants or more. We're good. Okay. okay. Captain D's on the table. Double D's. Thank Captain God. D's. Jesus. So terrible. Captain D's, three piece chicken, fish, something. Fish dinner. KFC coleslaw. Oh, it's so good. And the Taco Bell bad drink. That has got to be the most diverse so far that I've heard of the group. Oh, it's going to get bad. With coleslaw? Like, damn, dude, dude pulled out coleslaw. That's impressive. Yeah. All right, next. Next on the list, number two, Georgia guy. Wendy's Baconator, the original. I don't know what that means, but it's like eight slices of bacon, (laughs) two patties, and two slices of cheese. And a side of Lipitor. And a pacemaker. Yeah, like, boom. Dude, uh, 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 is that a heart palpitation? No, sir, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> that sounds delicious. You've eaten something and then gone, uh, why is my heart doing what it's doing uh, before? Ru- ru- row. Yeah. They don't or it's just s- like, yeah, I wonder, they definitely put crack in their shit. Baconator's a good one. 
and fresh. It, it's a good answer, right? Good. It is a good because yeah. it's like literally mayo and ketchup. N- fuck lettuce. How much fuck cheese? Tomato. I think it's two slices, one in each patty. Okay, but it's eight fucking pieces of bacon, bro. And you can get one. You buy one, get one for a dollar on the Wendy's deal on their app. Oh. So two of them's like they're expensive. They're like seven bucks. Oh, really? Six, they're like six. I think they're like five ninety nine. You want to pick one? It's like six bucks. So you bet you're, you're out the door under eight dollars for two of them, but it's like twenty three dollars worth of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so. And a doctor visit that's like twenty. Yeah, right. Your copay is twenty five at the doctor. <laughs> Please tip on the scale. You know I'm retaining nineteen pounds of water <laughs> from the burger, right, bitch? <laughs> Sir. Did, Sir, I actually physically see in the x-ray a piece of bacon <laughs> lodged between your left, your third rib and your fourth rib. Yeah, you oh, have I a, just had a bacon in Yeah, yeah no, that's my 3.5th rib. <laughs> that Baja Blast cut a hole in my <laughs> stomach and the bacon just slid its way out. <laughs> uh, All right, so bacon eater. <laughs> so we got the Wendy's bacon. Uh, By the way, we didn't even talk about Wendy's. That's fucking weird, but good. Yeah, we did. Not in the beginning. McDonald's, Burger King, Carl's Jr. You talk about the Wendy's straws. But only the they drink, are. But we didn't actually people are go into what, they, what we can get from them. Yeah, who cares? It's true. We don't give a fuck. Their Frosties are amazing. They are. And that they added vanilla because nothing's better than a French fry dipped in a vanilla something. It's, it's, yeah. Some people do like chocolate. I I'm, do I'm like a vanilla the chocolate frosty. I, I like the salt sweet of the vanilla because yeah. chocolate has a little more, not a tartness, but there's a depth to that taste, to the flavor of chocolate that has like, not a, I don't know if tarts right were, but it's like a the cacao taste, I guess. I had an old girlfriend that used to dip French fries into the sweet and sour sauce at McDonald's. That's all I do. That's all you do. Yeah. I also had an old girlfriend, and then I traded up for a younger one. <laughs> <laughs> Ill regardless. Uh, I remember after high school football practice, I would go to Wendy's and get a Frosty. You were all sweaty and gross, and that Frosty was just, oh, man best and i would do the chicken nuggets and i'd be like can i get 42 packets of sweet and sour sauce because that's what i that was my ketchup was what i do with the fries that's sweet and sour sauce have you ever heard the song i'm in love with the mcdonald's girl no oh it's so funny by who well the blender's diversion but i don't know who wrote the song but it goes i'm in love with a mcdonald's girl she has a smile of innocence so patient and warm i am in love with a mcdonald's girl she is an angel in a polyester uniform. I go to softball practice every night, but it gets dark, but the golden arches light up my way. I hit the corner at the traffic light, count my change, and rehearse what I want to say. I like an order of fries, a quarter pounder with cheese. I love the light in your eyes. Would you go out with me, please? I'm going to stop at that point, but I'm in love with the McDonald's girl. I'm in love with the Arby's girl. Arby's? Yeah. Not nah, just a lie. You just want to go through her? Like like Arby's goes through I want to go. <laughs> I'm in love with the Filiberto's girl. Oh, I'm in Phil love with Filiberto's daughter. Z. You know, I will say this. Yes. Something about the baristas at the Starbucks. Let's let's give Felicia some credit. There's some eye candy there sometimes. Yeah, but they're children. What? Can yes. they vote yet? Well, I... Children is rude. Let's not. That's a little. I mean, they're very. They're like twenty. Super young adults. I mean, they're twenty. Yes, yes they're all. They're all adults. We're not attracted to them. That's not what I'm saying. But that they're, they're very I, pretty. Yes, they're, but they're just so young, right? But that doesn't mean we have to think dirty about them. We no. can just say, "Oh, that's that's She's a very, a very young, lovely person. young lady yes. and young gentleman too." There's some really handsome devils. I've seen some blue eyes on some Starbucks baristas. I've been like, yeah, Stephen like, is so dreamy, Rico. <laughs> You're so suave. You're so suave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was funny. All right. Can we move along after the bacon eater, please? Yes. Can I also say I'm very much in love with my girlfriend? Uh, sure. And Steven with the blue eyes at Starbucks. Esteban. Uh, it is Rico, and he is suave. His name is Rico. Ay, ay. After the bacon eater, the side was Popeye's red beans and rice. Interesting choice, flavor, a lot Sounds of so flavor. Good, dude. It does. There, it's got that. Just a can good, I get a bucket of that and a big spoon? I think they like serve a that soup the, spoon. The Doomsday Prepper guys have that in a five gallon. <laughs> I'm gonna need. For a, you. I'm sorry. Are you a prepper? Can I get a five gallon bucket of red beans and rice? No, yes. red beans and red beans and rice. Rice. Mm. It's a good call. The drink. The we haven't talked about any fucking 
chicken place other than KFC coleslaw. Yeah. Popeyes, churches. What else we got? Chick fil A. Chick fil A and, and Raising Canes. Yes. So there's probably a handful. Okay. So I'm sure there's more. Yeah. But that's about it. Yeah. So red beans and rice didn't miss her. Some knucklehead tried to diss, but these girls are on my list. Stop it. I can't do Sir Mix a lot now? You cannot. Can I do Sir Rice and Beans a lot? Yes. <laughs> See. <laughs> Shout out to Pablo and his Franciscoism. I'm not going to steal his jokes, man. That's his own shit. I can't. I can't take it. You just, your pop socket I just, just unpopped. Broke my phone. It's socket. How do you repop a socket? Can we do that at Beer Googles on that? Sure. And lastly, on the on the list of Georgia number two, a drink of a Starbucks sweetened green iced tea, which I didn't know you can get a green iced tea. Green tea? Yeah, green tea, but okay. iced. Okay, With, but cool. iced. Yeah. All right. So I'm I'm finding this interesting. I know that Starbucks has food. Do you really consider them a fast food? Because we now have had Starbucks hit twice, and it makes sense definitely on the drink side. Imagine if they ordered. The, before we continue, before I lose my fucking mind, Uh-oh. please tell me that someone didn't have like, I like the Starbucks bacon, egg and cheese bagel. Nobody said that. Okay. So any Starbucks going forward is, is drink centric, beverage centric. I mean, it has a drive through, right? So, right. and they do have food, but it's not, I give them the drinks. I'll give them the drinks all day. I'm more concerned about the food. Part. I, I agree. I don't think I've ever, I mean, I think somebody bought me like a slice of cake or a croissant or something like that pre-made it seems. yeah i mean it was okay it it was free yeah so i just don't know if we can i will give it for the drinks but i feel like it shouldn't be allowed as as an entree or a or a side just just a thought yeah let's throw rules in here because we're not open-minded enough yeah or we're too open-minded whatever it takes yeah so what we got next we got a couple more before we uh share our beautiful beautiful so um Echo Lima, he's got... Uh, he's subscribed to our YouTube channel yeah. and our other stuff, right? Yeah. Shout out, Echo. Uh, back in Michigan, he likes Culver's Burger. It is a good burger. I have not been there. It's. I think the bun is like... It feels like it's buttered and toasted almost. Oh, so it's, there's a... Good. There's an advantage to that. There's oh, something yeah, about for that. sure. Culver's makes a good burger for okay, sure. Their I'll, quality I'll need meets to go good. there sometime. And they're let's go sometime. You and I you talk me into it. Yeah. And they have these cool drinks too. They have like the drink of the day, and it's like a Heath caramel frappa lapa tuba loodle. And then tomorrow they'll have some other blippity bloppity flop. So it's very like a Sonicy and like drink of the day kind of thing. Cool. And they have like their own mixers and stuff. So they they're pretty diverse. Yeah. Okay, I'm down. The bur- uh, just like the ba- the butter burger, is that what they call it? Is that what he called it? He just said the the, the Culver's burger. Okay. I think it's called a butter burger. It's okay, just so you know, sure. Because I think it's the butter toasted bun thing. But you know, I want to be accurate to Culver's. We'll give him props. What what's his side? Um, well, so I need to clarify. Um, Mr. Echo Lima is like six five, and he eats a lot. He is allowed to have two sides. So he, he yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to have to allow this. I will. His side is a Jack in the box, curly fry and taco. That makes sense. The dude eats. Yes. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, if he actually said like my, for my entree, I'd like a bur- a double cheeseburger from Culver's for my side. I'd like a triple cheeseburger from Culver's. <laughs> he's six, five, bro. I think I would have yeah, accepted it's that. It's crazy. Cause he's six, five and skinny as hell. And, oh, fuck. And he his, can, mo- his motor must be going. He up. can just, and he's like 34 or something. Where does it he, go, bro? I, he can just power. Dude, it's, I hate him. So do you much. see Pete, like the pieces sticking out of his stomach? I've never so looked skinny. at his stomach, dude. Like, you know, Kobayashi used to do the hot dog eating contest. You'd see like hot dog uh, pieces. Gross. Sorry, bro. And lastly. His drink. How does um, he, with what does he wash it down? Uh, That would be a Sonic Root Beer Freeze. That sounds yummy. I don't know. It's like a root beer slushy kind of thing. I guess. Um, there's one, there's a Sonic very close to us. And when you order through the app, all drinks are half off. So that's happening after this. So just okay, so you know. great. That's fantastic. Maybe Megs will get it and I can drink a sip cause I'm diabetic. Okay. Don't do it. All right. So, so we got, uh, okay, we got three e- left. Echo Lima, three, three more people. We got three left. And then you, and then you and I, and then you, okay, sweet. All right. 
I don't know what this means. Popeye's can sandwich. C- Popeye's C-A-N sandwich. Is that, is that the Canadian sandwich? Sure. Chicken sandwich. The... Is it the can can like the can Okay, so why don't you share more? And I'll look that up. The I'll look that Popeyes. up and try to figure it out. Well, this probably means chicken, right? Um, you have a lot of tabs open, my my dude. It's Michael Jackson's birthday weekend, man. Of is course, that, I've got a lot of tabs open. So you have a lot of. Is that allowed? I have no idea. You don't got to mute your shit. Just look it up. Oh, all right. Popeyes, go. Popeyes, go. Popeyes. Just, let's just say it's a chicken sandwich. Yeah, keep going. I'm going to look it up while you're doing that. So That's just, all I got. You have to pay attention for this next one because we're all going to lose our fucking minds. No, with yeah. the side? Am yeah. I going to lose my fucking mind with the side? You're going to lose your fucking mind. Canada sandwich. Canada sandwich. Is th- really? Yeah. It's I a win. chicken sandwich coming to Canada or something. Canned sandwich. It says canned sandwich. Look, there Popeye's Canada sandwich. I don't fucking know, bro. Okay. Popeye's canned sandwich for the win. <sighs> I thought it was a sandwich in a can like <laughs> like uh, tennis balls. <laughs> and then to, you go <laughs> and he goes... <laughs> Like spam, just out of a can, like a sandwich in a can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, I know this isn't on video, but we just had the fucking most epic 0.28 second stare down in the history of stare downs. And then we just started like, laughing because it's my fun. brain went into the, like the little computer hourglass thing. I think I did the circle of death in mind. I got reboot must reboot. I want windows uh, restart. Yeah. Not networking safe yes. mode. Re- I rebooted in safe mode. What's the side? Cause before I lose so my I, fucking So I don't mind. know a couple of these people on here. I just asked a friend to, Hey, would you want to ask sh- this this friend of mine's uh, on a weekend with some other friends. I said, "Hey, do you want to ask your friends to be on the survey?" So they asked their friends to be on the survey. Yeah. So I don't know a couple of these okay. people. But what's the side to go along with yes. this canned so sandwich? The side to go along with the canned sandwich. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself. Try to meditate. I have not heard this yet. Just so you know, you know, I haven't heard this, sir. Correct. <sighs> correct. I'm gonna fucking jump out this window. I bet. Yes, you are. Am I really? Yeah. The Chick-fil-A kale salad. What the fuck? Kale? Fuck kale. You kale? Hashtag fuck kale. Look, kale is a fucking topping <laughs> or a chip that you dip in fried, like that you dip in fried oil. No. what You, you know kale chips. I, no, I, I do know kale right, chips. Right. Do you know what you do with kale chips? Throw them out? You put them in the trash. That, well, you suckle on the oil and then throw them you out. You put them in the trash. <laughs> and you go get Kale. Doritos like a normal person. Is this a male? No. Well, okay. Well, I don't I don't know. Is that stereotypical that I asked if it was a male? I, and yes. It, okay, what's worse? That yes. I stereotyped and guessed that it was a male or that it was a female? Which, which one's worse? Both. Okay. I'm both wrong and right. However, the Popeye sandwich and the drink redeem this person. In a massive, massive way. This drink better be motherfucking, like, basically just sugar water. It is indeed sugar <laughs> water. Are you ready to I, be redeemed from the shitty kale? Do we need to talk more about the kale, or can we Redemption move on? Redemption song. These songs of kale. Redemption is a great song by Shadows Fall. Redemption. Redemption songs are a great song by Bob Marley. Uh, sh- are you ready? Yes. The drink of the kale people. Kale drink if it's fucking juice. No, it's not. The, the drink of the kale people. The Sonic Cherry Limeade. You made up for it. So it's all sugar. It's high five for the high sugar drink. High five for the sugar drink. You made up for it. So Look, good fuck. job. I mean, what Look, I would do yes. is probably just put the kale at the bottom like you do mint in a mojito. <laughs> and you just drink you it all muddle together. It? Muddle it and then just drink <laughs> it all together. Oh, by the way, I came up with a new drink today. It's kale muddling. The mimojito. <laughs> the kale mojito? Champagne. Yes. L- some kind of citrusy limey, but like lime with a sweetness, like some kind of sweet So lime, lime with Splenda? Lemon, something. <laughs> and mint. A mimojito. It's like a mimosa and a mojito mixed together. Oh, a mimojito. And then I love like, all those things. She's like, are you stuttering? I'm like, I didn't say m- 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 <laughs> mojito. Today, Junior. Today, Junior. <laughs> 69. <laughs> anyway, so that was the mojito. Um, 
Hello, Twitter world. If you would like to make a mimojito and tell us what you put in it and how delicious it is, we would like we would repost that because I just came up with the name. I don't know what's in it other than mimosa stuff and mojito stuff. Orange mint. But what's in a mojito? That's uh, mint, sugar, rum, rum. So would you put rum in your? Yeah, kind of like how the peach bellini has both okay. champagne and okay. and peach. So Doesn't you'd have, have champagne and rum. I would think I'd have a little bit of that. Yeah, be an interesting mix. Curious so how they work. Orange together. juice, champagne, and rum, and mint. Because what do does do any drinks have orange juice and rum? There's what? rum runners, and so I'm sure they have. Like, there's is a that, lot of. Is that too? There's a lot of juice rums, like rum juice drinks. Yeah, but a is lot that of the punches are orange rum. juice with rum. Would that be too? That's I'm wondering. And I don't even know if it's art. That's the thing is if I make it more mojito based on the citrus part because it's mint and like maybe a little lime. God, that would be, the lime would be Imagine so like a amazing, sweeted dude. lime, like a little lime syrup. Oh, with the champagne to make it bubbly, dude. Right. Over that's ice. what I'm saying. Over ice. Imagine. In a 32 ounce glass. Think of it like a bubbly mojito, right? Don't they use soda water, but use champagne instead of soda water? Maybe, you know, the, the club soda. Don't they be put, so drunk later? Bro, we're, it's only Saturday. That's what's great about today. We've got a whole day to recover. I'll just be drunk tomorrow too. It's fine. Yeah, you you have a better recovery time than I. Yeah, like six hours. <laughs> it's like seventeen days. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck kale. Seventeen days. Uh, yeah. So kale. Okay. So whoever did this, the kale. God bless her. Well, thank you for redeeming yourself. That's it's a redemption. redemption. So we'll, let's focus on the positives. Yes, she shat. Yeah, and she, cherry limeade. Cherry limeade's the best fucking drink. It's so good. And there's just one cherry dropped in there with three wedges of lime. Sometimes you get like three cherries, dude. Sometimes I never get them. They they're really skimps on the cherry lately. I think I got one without one last time. Shut I was very the upset. Front door. I need one, one goddamn maraschino cherry in one of my drinks, especially when it's a Route 44. You give me the smaller medium, okay, okay. Give me the flavor, but you, I'm going Route 44, bro. That is the largest one. I need one maraschino cherry. Just want, drop that bad boy right in there. Yeah, forget about it. Over there, over there. <laughs> I like cherry water. I like ocean water. Can I get an ocean shore? water? You get out of shore to get that ocean water. I'm going to call you on the phone. Get my ocean water. Hey, my fan on ocean water. Listen to radio over there. It's all right, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, the Flyers are playing right now, I bet, too. And they're probably losing. But it's okay. Whatever it takes. Uh, 220. What's after? Uh, okay, so that's, redem- we're done. With we that. got the redemption. That's, oh, it's only three total that, items. I thought it was three more people. Yeah, there's two more people. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. So okay, we, we have two more people, and then you and I, and then you. Okay, here we go. And then I, or however. Next on the list, entree, the Chick Fil A Southwest salad. I'm sure it's got chicken and shit on it. I would guess corn, beans, corn, all that crap. Yeah, you know, regardless Delicious. of how you eat corn. It always ends up on the cob. Whoa. Isn't that weird? That's disgusting. Is that a poop joke? <laughs> it kind of was. You owe me fucking $5? I don't think it was worth $5. I, maybe two forty-eight. It was not, It was less than half of what? That wasn't a poop. I've made some very vulgar, vulgar fecal matter Did jokes. Did you just reference corn being stuck in your shit or not? No. I just talked about corn coming out on the cob regardless of how you take it but in. But the cob was referenced to the log of poop. I yes or no? It. I implied it. So that's two fifty, you dick. Oh, so you owe me twelve fifty. I, I still get ten from last time. Seven fifty. I think I'm up to nine fifty. You I'm owe either me 9 ten, or 10. from last time. You owe me twelve fifty. I thought we talked. Oh, okay. My God. God. We're going to have an aside. Chris and I are going to have a little talk. So you're welcome a, to. You're welcome to sit down. Is there down an on aside this. button, you prick? We. I made a poop thing. You called me, we, and then an hour and a half later into one podcast, you called me out on it. I thought it was two, but it really was one. It was one. So it was really only five. I've also made a urine joke and no semen joke. So it's six plus 250, 250 is 850. I, I think I made two urine jokes. So I think I owe you 950. I think that's where we're at. Twitter world can, can assess. Everyone, okay. Everyone who's on Twitter, download every single one of our podcasts. All of them. All million, billion people on Twitter. We need ratings, too. Just download them all and listen through and tell us where we're right or wrong. That'll get that'll get free downloads, bro. I understand. See how, see how I did that? I yeah. tried to, like, encourage people, like, do it. But they're not going to fucking do it. 
Because they know that I owe probably like eight thousand dollars in equal <laughs> All the doggies are gonna I get made rescues. a semen joke though. But we've plugged boxerlove.org multiple times, and that alone should have increased its You know uh, there's only two dogs on their website that's are available for adoption? Of all and and usually wow. there's like twelve or fourteen. So that's, that's amazing. Congratulations. That's a great, that's that's a great, great thing. Yay. I will No, that deserves an that deserves yeah. an applaud. And that's because of the work that that's you and I have done of alone. You check mark. That's the work. It's the work that you and I have done alone for this podcast. We talk. No, we talk about Dutch sheep. mark. Dutch mark is work. Deutsch really mark. Hard. We have made a strategy to win these these dogs. We like to find the boxes, the homes. Homes are very important for the boxes, and boxes are very good. I put things in boxes too, not the dog, not the, the, bo- the team cardboard. smushy face. I love your team so much. Your face has everyone followed you on Instagram. Can you tell us what your Instagram is so we can Roxy follow Anders with the I E underscore and underscore Anders R O X I E underscore A N D underscore A N D E R S. Correct. Roxy and Anders inst, uh, Instagram. Yeah, is that the one. Yeah. Once again, I have like two pictures on my Instagram, but you have doggy pictures and yeah, you, all the stupid crap they do you. and all those dumb places we and go. And then you bring in like you would. Take in like dogs over the weekend, so you're like five. Yeah, I'm time. always dog sitting. You've got a pug, a pug, and a then great the Great Dane, Dane. <laughs> so <you're not> like, <laughs> another boxer. You've got Yin Yang. It's and so funny how the like it's how the pug walks underneath the legs of a boxer, and how a boxer then walks underneath the legs <laughs> of the Great Dane. It's like this. We, it was like the Matrix of Does dogs. Does it happen all at the same time? No, it didn't. That but been it was cool. within like two minutes. It was so weird, dude. Maybe they were playing over under. What's that thing? What's a bridge? Uh, London Bridge. Didn't you play London, London Bridge? bridge where is you, yeah, down. where you? Uh, sure. No. Try to try to get under Red Rover and coming over and. Yeah, I don't send know. Maybe coming right under because they're shorter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so after so, the go ahead. Welcoming us to beer Googles again. We didn't just do a total fucking tangent. We went from fast Tangents. food to dot net. Your your Instagram nine dollars and fifty cents. Roxy R O X I E underscore and yes underscore Anders. Yeah. Next. The side after this Southwest salad is Zaxby's, which is a chicken place. In the I've been there. I've heard of them, and they are legit. Yeah, uh, Zaxby's, and they're good. Yeah, uh, Zaxby's fried pickles. I feel like them and Raising Cane's are very competitive with each other. Okay. I feel like they're more natural. Like it took a little bit more to grow them, but they're more qual- the quality type. They're bigger pieces of chicken? Yeah. Like just, it seems like just more yeah. natural, I think. Just not as, you know, like factory made, like all, a lot of the fashion. Like McDonald's? Um, I didn't say that. I that's, did. That's slander, sir. <laughs> Am I not allowed to say that? No, you say whatever the fuck you want. It's a podcast. It means nothing. Okay. Other than it, whatever it means. So Zaxby's pickled, fried pickles. Yep. The, the Chick-fil-A Southwest salad. Are you ready salad. for the craziest drink yet? Yes. This it's is HW, isn't it? HW? Is that HW's? No, she, I didn't. I didn't oh, talk to her. Oh, because I thought you said that. Oh, who? no, okay, I haven't it. talked to her yet. I can this, totally this thing, this list happened so fast. My bad. Um, this is cool. Sonic, blue raspberry slushy with nerds. Get the fuck out! I haven't had a nerd. I know, right? Oh my god! Blue, the little box with the sides yes, and the nerds, shaky, nerds, and you, you nerds, pick the side. Nerds. It was like the Twix left and right before Twix left and right. It was like raspberry and blueberry. Yeah. And then you can use them as egg shaker, like to, to make music with. <laughs> and then you open one side. And it, did you suckle or did you crunch? You chew or suckle? Both. Depended. I tried suckling. I always end up crunching because yeah. I sexual frustration. You know how I chew and ice, sexual frustration, all yeah. that. I was a kid. I was a virgin. You're a German kid. I was a virgin when I was eating nerds, so I chewed the shit out of all of them. The Sonic Blue Raspberry Slushy with nerds. What kind of nerds? Are they blue raspberry nerds? or what, I don't sp- know. I'm curious. I don't what? know. I wonder if they have all different. I wonder how many varieties of nerds Sonic decided to I'm curious of that, that also. It's probably just that one. Probably blue raspberry or something. Oh, it sounds so good. It does sound good, though. 
I feel like raspberry though has that tartness that you love, but you add sweet to it, and then it sounds feels overpowered. Like it hits all your senses too much. Yeah, maybe it's a the amount of sweetness to overcome that yeah. raspberry. It almost gets, but as a freshness, it sounds very sounds very good. Oh, yeah. Nerds, nothing more natural than nerds, right? <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> coloring chemically enhanced about that at all. It's like little mini sugar boulders. It, it says that it's on the totally box. Natural. Nerds, organic, all, all natural, natural. No, gluten free, non GMO, non GMO, <laughs> all right there on that shit. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, so now we're down the the last. We one. We have the last person on the list. Nice, nice drum roll, sir. That was on my we have alley. the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. Mm. That's and underrated. Have... That's an overrated sandwich. Is that That's the one with the pickles? It's just a. F- I think it's just the large version of that. It's just a. It's a fucking chicken sandwich. I'd rather. I'd rather you tell me you'd rather have a thirty piece nugget. You know what I mean? Like from Chick Fil A. Thirty piece. That's it, you it, got a problem with that, bro? Oh, st- I'm getting. I'm getting the evil stare down. You Twitter world. Up, you get up to thirty. Oh, okay. So I'm, I apologize. I might know. I feel like they don't give you enough when they Is say Is that those really piece. little ones? Yeah, yeah like, Miller really, mentioned that last night. That. Okay. Chick-fil-A fucks you a lot Chick-fil-A of ways. Chick-fil-A fucks coming. you at the drive-thru. Except for they don't let men fuck each other. They don't, they're not for that. Uh, I knew they were a religious organization, but I didn't know which one. They are affectionately known as homophobic chicken in certain I did sections of the this. world. Yes. First of all, they're not open on Sundays. They're Southern Methodist, I believe is what it is. Okay. The owner was a racist, bigoted piece of shit who was like a homophobe. Then they backed off on that because remember you did like a natural non homophobe day or something or natural non whatever it was. So the chicken's natural and natural and, and, non homophobe and homosexual. Allegedly, they buy only Allegedly. homosexual chicken. But <laughs> regardless so the chickens of that, can be gay, but not he, the employees or the customers. Allegedly. So Originally. they had this thing. So then they backed up, and then supposedly that guy's like old, and then gave the reins to his son. And I think the son backed double down on like the Mormon stance of the homosexuality. Like, so is it Mormon like, or is it gay. Southern Methodist? It's Southern Methodist. But my point is that philosophy of be gay but don't act gay is just the most backwards thing to me. I don't understand that. Like, welcome to Tangents, boys and girls. Um. <laughs> I had a conversation with a gentleman on Facebook, on the Facebook, and we should bring him in. We're going to do this. You know what? Let's save it for the religious one. It's probably better. Okay, but, yeah. but that said, I think homophobia is a ridiculous fucking thing. And I think that two consensual people who just want to do what they want to do, it's consensual. That's the fucking point. It's not like someone's raping another person. If it's consensual, you can do whatever the fuck you want. And the th- when it makes it non-consensual is when the person doesn't agree or doesn't consent or isn't of an age to consent. I totally agree, sir. That's the only two fucking things that should keep you from having any thought about relations with other people. Relations? Really? They're relations. They're going to have relations. They're going to have relations. Relations. They're going to have relations. <laughs> uh, so that was a total tangent however that guy is supposedly doubled down so it is affectionately known as homophobic chicken however people who have called it that and obviously there's an issue you know there's a, an agenda there which makes sense like why support a company that has this kind of stance their food's really good and people who don't like them still go there that's how powerful their food is I know people who will like they will vocally speak their displeasure and then they'll drive around the corner and then go to the drive through and go to Chick-fil-A. So there's a little hypocrisy there, but I, I respect whichever side you take on it. Like if you want to, if you want to fucking boy, I, I welcome America, man. Freedom of of expression stance. I believe they've doubled down neck on their homophobic stance. They're back on the homophobia and I'll look that up and I don't want to slander a company. I'm not here to talk shit, but I will I will point out shit that I don't feel seems right. And that doesn't feel right. Okay. What the fuck does your orientation have to do with what you like to eat or whatever? What does that do with chicken? Nothing. Like, and you're a business. First of all, you're going to let your religion. Seriously, it is religion because it's, it's, I believe it's Southern Methodist. I need to look that up. I'm sure. But I'm like 99 because everyone used to think it was Mormon because they were closed on Sundays. But I think it's Southern Methodist. But the point is like. I love your conviction that you're closed on probably one of the busiest fast food days of the week. That's pretty awesome that you do that with your religion. That's maybe a good part of the religion that you reflect on God and all this good stuff. 
but the homophobia stuff just doesn't make sense with that. It doesn't go, they don't, they don't jive. Like your God's loving to your point, you know, loving God and whatever. Okay. Worship them on Sunday. Don't be open, but don't be homophobic. It doesn't make sense. It, I just don't understand. It's like, it's almost like people make this an issue or an agenda. Like I don't even understand how it is. How, how do what two people do in their life that doesn't, that has zero effect on you directly. That's not doing it to you or at you. What does that have to do with your life? That's all simple. Okay. I'm, you know, I love the fact that we just had a three and a half minute tangent about homophobia when today's topic is about chicken. It's not about chicken. I mean, about fast food drive through entrees. I'm sorry, and, Twitter world. I'm really sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry at all. I'm not sorry at all. Because the shit, it's a stream of consciousness. And if anything, we've realized that our brains just are these open channels for things to just flow through. And that was one of them. So, well, the other thing was we were going to talk about religion today. So I had a little prepped prior to the fast food conversation. So I was about ready to go on a fucking tear. And they were like, let's do fast food. And I said, okay. So that's where we're at. Okay. What are we washing this down with? The I do not have the drink for this person, but I do have the side. Okay. And that would be the Sonic onion rings. It's a good one. I'll get on, any onion ring. Well, Hell onion yeah. rings are good, but I don't like Carl's Jr. because they shred them and then mold them. What? So they're not an onion dipped in a ring. It's not a ring. It's, it's like uh, the that, leftover crap. Yeah, the smushed, molded, breaded. It just doesn't. It tastes all artificial. I think the onion ring is the hardest side to make. But I think the, it, sometimes the they're too greasy. It is. And that's that's a problem. Yeah, like if the batter sucks up too much grease or they're in there too long or the onion doesn't get soft either, or doesn't yeah, get the burnt cooked, that it yeah. needs. I think onion rings are a very tricky, tricky uh, side if we're going to go we're gonna go on a side tangent about that. Side <laughs> tangent about sides? <laughs> side, side tangent. And he's going to wash that down with the cheers of children as well. Of course. And some absinthe. Maybe yes. Yeah. Is he an alcoholic? What's what's this person do? I have no idea. I don't know that person. Oh. That was a f- friend of a friend. Oh, so that they, was a survey that I sent out. I like it. Yeah. So that's a list of a bunch of them. Oh, all the peoples. So guess who? Guess who's really important? It comes you down, and I. You and I, my friend. That's it. So would you like to? Would let's do this. Yes. Sandwich, sandwich, side, side, drink, drink. Okay. You me, you me, you me, or me? I don't care. Which yeah, way that sounds do. good. I love that. So. You had a whole 15 minutes to think about this and, and an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, I've had an hour 45 minutes to think about this. Well, I... You've I, had overnight. Yeah. Well, I Where already was, knew. I mean... You went instant? Yeah. Like right I, to I, it? You know, yeah. I, the, the entree I knew right away. The yeah. other two I, I've struggled with. I think the entree tends to be the easier because you kind of have a go-to place. Like, Correct. I want x and yes. i will go for x every time it's x x x x right and people ask me all the time this is a little off this is a baby tangent people ask me all the time every week somebody asks me hey man what's your favorite burger place and i i don't really have one because you know i live in phoenix and on every corner there's a mexican place with a drive through and i can get beans and rice and two tacos that are very good and they're not greasy for six bucks or I can get super nachos or I can get carne asada fries or I can get whatever I want for six or seven dollars and to me it's excessively better than a burger so it's so this fast food conversation that was posed to me yesterday that I posed to you today it was hard for me everybody else was like boom boom they answered the questions fast but well, your three should come from a Birdo, an it Erto should. Of some My sort. three should come from a Mexican an place. An Eco, an and, Erto, or... <laughs> yeah, like Salazar Brothers is one of my favorite places, okay. and it's a one-off place. Right. But I, like, no, I stuck with the mainstream, you know? Yeah, but why not Why not plug Salazar's, bro? Well, yeah, I just did. So oh, uh, Salazar's great. bro, bro. Salazar's bros is what they are, actually. They are, Salazar, Salazar Brothers is what yeah, they are. Yeah, so they're Salazar bros. Yeah. They're... Bro, they're bros. They're with us. Why not? They're the bros. They're yeah, I love us, that place. Man. And it's a one-off place. It's just there's there's Smothers Bros are with us. The as Smothers well. Brothers, all that shits. Man. So it's this was this was a really I'm not my last my my uh side was I was hard and my drink I don't I haven't decided yet. So I I immediately went to one or two like entrees. Okay. The to your point, the sides was 
is challenged just because of diversity that you can do. Absolutely. It. So it's like coleslaw. Yeah. Are you robbing Peter to pay Paul? Like if I go here, Fuck I can't. Guys. That means I can't go there. Right. Oh shit! I've got FOMO just oozing out of every. I hate pore. that's disgusting. Fear of missing out, bro. You should get some ointment for that. Look, it's it's kind of a goiter now. It's like Hi. a FOMO goiter. Do you have FOMO? I need a lancet. Do you have FOMO? If you have FOMO, try Tambien. <laughs> if you have FOMO, don't take Tambien. If you're biologically designed to be a male. If your diet is biologically designed to be a male. <laughs> If you take Tambien, <laughs> oh shit, no one has any clue if what you the have fuck anal means. leakage and death, please stop taking Tambien right yeah, away. Seriously. Uh, hey, here's an anti-stroke medication. Side effect could be stroke. <laughs> well, I'm fucking on board. If you have a stroke, call your doctor right away. <laughs> I know. Hi, thank you for calling the medical center. If this is a real emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Like I'm calling your fucking 22 number fucking number if I've got a heart attack. If you had a God stroke, would it, you be people. able to dial the phone? What's sad about that is they make I think that's like a legal thing they have to say of course so they don't is. get signed. I know. So imagine the first person who got sued, right? You're a medical facility. So you're like, thank you for calling Hangnails Incorporated. <laughs> thank you. Please stay online. And this dude's having a heart attack and they die. And Hangnail Incorporated gets sued because they didn't tell that motherfucker who was having chest to pain to not call Hangnail Company, but to, to call like for real medical help. Yeah, I know. Motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Please don't drink your coffee right away. It may be super fucking oh God, hot. Fucking you dumb shit. I it's really weird on that one. I've got I'm on the fence on that one. We should have talked about that when we talked about McDonald's. Do you want to hear about it? No. Well, I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. Oh fuck. So there. Is it I don't it's not story time worthy, but McDonald's allegedly was warned what the what they were doing was this. They knew that they assumed that people were not drinking it in their car. They were drinking it when they got because you bought a four, you know, you bought for your your coworkers, coworkers and everything. So they intentionally made the temperature 10 to 20 degrees hotter on their water so that by the time they got to the place, their work, it was still hot perfect. or warm. That was, it was the perfect temperature. Allegedly, that was the philosophy behind it. They were then told that that's dangerous because people do drink in their car or whatever. And allegedly, they just ignored that and kept the temperature thing. Then this incident happened, and that actually helped that person's cause a little bit. From my understanding of it. But I also understand the philosophy of McDonald's saying, and it's fucking hot coffee. What? Like, that it says that it's hot coffee but on it now makes no sense. she spilled it on herself, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. But she, it was too hot. And it, it, it was hotter than the average coffee out of a normal stock. But 20 degrees is a lot. 10 to 20 degrees is a lot. Right. But the thing is, not, you, don't, you don't expect someone to spill it. Correct. But they were also negligent but they because were negligent they, were they were warned. They were that's told the that issue. that was dangerous. And yes. if that was documented, if they documented, are found they, guilty. Correct. So that may, that one actually is weird because most people think it's just some idiot. I'm going to say this. Some crazy bitch. Correct. <laughs> and it's not. It women are not man, bitches. Right? right. It's some asshole douchebag right. who fucking's like, fuck you, I'm going to sue. Just to sue. It really wasn't like that. It really wasn't. There are lawsuits like that that are completely frivolous but this one had a little it was like a little nuance that we don't we talk about the michael jackson thing some of the story we didn't know right right we didn't we weren't aware of this was one of those little nuances that when you put that into it you go oh that kind of makes sense they they did it hotter so that when you get there it's it's a better temperature but they were told yeah that's dangerous and then they didn't comply and then this happened so you know there's some there's some negligence there it's legit if that's all true, right? Now, once again, he said, she said, and all that. Bullshit. Yeah. So that was my McDonald's story. Bling, harp time. Thank you. Okay. So you Sir. are struggling, but you didn't get the burrito from Federico's. You didn't get the breakfast burrito from Phoenix Burrito House. They don't have a drive through Sorry. Also, a very, a point that I think is worth noting, there was not one burrito, there was not one breakfast item mentioned except for coffee. Very interesting. There was one coffee. There was not a. There was not an egg McMuffin. There was not a sausage McMuffin with egg. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. The best. Yes, exactly. The griddle. N- not a um, Chick Fil A has a chicken thing. And then burger. Uh, the the um, the hash browns from McDonald's are really good. Oh, not one of those was mentioned. That's interesting too. So not like everybody automatically went defaulted to, lunch, to, like to lunch, either too. like. A burger or a ch- ch- chicken sandwich, right? Where they're going at lunch. Nobody thought doing. about breakfast or nobody, or they ruled it out. But I'm assuming everybody didn't give breakfast credence at all. 
to your point exactly, I did not. And the hat, when you say hash brown, I fucking that. Those hash browns, and I don't like McDonald's, but those hash browns are fucking good. And I, you can eat I three could, of them easily. I could, I could eat eight of those. Well, you could sitting. put two together. I would, if that they don't have a, like a hash brown sandwich that's two hash browns with bacon, egg, and cheese oh. on the inside of it, that they don't have that yet. Is that, should we serve that along with the mimojitos? Yes, we should. Mimojitos and we hash brown gloves, bacon, dude, egg, and cheese. Because the biscuits. grease would be just. Dude, it's I'm gonna lick it off my arm when I'm done. I don't care. <laughs> Have you had their grease? It's delicious. Oh, yeah, God, it kills so you. Gross. It takes like four years off your life. But I'm fucking licking. Is that. it worth it? It's probably I, four months. It's probably not four years. It's it's, it's probably, probably worth four months. I don't think it's worth four years. It's worth it. It's so fucking good. Now the thing is, we don't really understand how. Why are we whispering? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is this. All I know is that we don't think about the consequences. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll take four years off my life. But when those four years are up, yeah, like, when I go up to that point, it's like, oh, now you need to die. I'm like, but bro, but bro, <laughs> like, but you had a hash brown bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich in in 2023, and you licked your arms. <laughs> you licked the grease off your arms. I'm sure your I like to refer back to subsection four where you licked your arms. <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't did the. That oh, rem- it reminds oh me of the KFC sandwich where the bread was the two chicken breasts. Yeah. That, that, I bet you the people that ate that are already dead. That, or, how many, will they, or will they live forever how now many, that they've got a formaldehyde in their system? But how many arteries did that sandwich clog? What about all the preservation that's in it? Preservatives. They, they preserved that person for years and eons. Eons. <laughs> They're going to Mars. You're correct. I mean, one bite, I'm thinking like, oh, <laughs> it's like, oh. How'd he die? Uh, chicken sandwich. Reminds me of the Animal House horse. <laughs> <laughs> like, right before, like when he shot him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> Move it along. So <laughs> the tangent. <laughs> of, <laughs> that was 11 minutes of tangent oh, that had nothing God. to do with your sandwich. And we started with, I eat a lot of Mexican fast food, so I don't know what fucking sandwich. So pick the goddamn Salazar brothers. Oh, I'm brothers. sorry, fucker. Um, my sound, my entree is the double double from In and Out Burger with onions, right? And I don't care if they're grilled. I, I prefer raw onions, not animal style. Wait, Just, so you get double double? Yes. And they and cheeseburger. I'm assuming because there's yes, double double, double, double with cheese. Absolutely, okay, double double with cheese. Yes, sir. What's on that? Lettuce, ketchup, mustard, cheese, onions. Okay. No tomato. Ne- they don't. They and never the patties. Obviously. Yeah, and they usually they grill the. They, toast, they toast toasted the, of some sort. They toast. Well, they actually do. They grill, grill them with they butter. They grill the bun Buns, yeah. on the fryer with butter. Yeah, so that the edges are. Cr- I don't want to say yeah, crispy. crispy. They're, they're, they're but a, damn. There's a crunch. There's a texture yes. aspect. There's a browning. There's a flavor because once you brown it, caramelizes. Oh my God. Adds that sweetness. Ooh. I always save a corner where my finger. I I take my. Two, like my thumb and my index or middle finger. Yeah. That's the last piece that I hold and I eat around it because that last part has that crunchy caramelized bun with the patty caramelization. Like it yeah. has to be all of it in that one bite. Yeah. It's like dessert. That's a delicious fucking thing. And I can't believe you stole mine, bro. Except for mine's a little different. Okay. I went four by four. I never with had cheese. That. You want to explain what that means? I will. Because that's not on the menu. Correct. So they have like they have a quote unquote secret menu. They do. And if I may, yes. Let me say the sandwich. Then we'll back up to sure. the to the secret menu, and then we'll tell you to look up some cool shit. Yeah. This is beer Google's after all, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Double O. Double G. Double G. Double E. I, I am out of order. Same. Whatever. I'm We're dyslexic, dyslexic bro. <laughs> We're jinxy too. You owe me a Coke. Ha yes! ha, from McDonald's. Okay. I'll go to McDonald's just yes! for you. First time in eight and a half years. So mine, you had a double double with cheese. Yes, sir. Which is two. I get a four by four with cheese, animal style. That's my sandwich. So what that is, a double is two, obviously. Four by four. What do you know a little bit about the secret menu? You want to talk? You want to I, introduce I know a little You're bit. from California. I'm from, yeah. I'm not from here, but I know it very well. Yeah. Because I went down the rabbit hole. Well, you can get a three by three, a four by four, what you know, which just means three by three is three patties, three cheeses, four by four, four patties, four cheeses. Right. So that's what I do. I get four of them. 
And it because the patties are not they're not quarter pounder patties. They're smaller than quarter pounder. Yeah, but they're a bigger tiny bit. But they're bigger they than might like be quarter a big pounder. Mac. They're bigger they, than a Big Mac. Smaller than a quarter pounder. Yeah. Yes. They're right in that sweet. But when range, they f- smash they burger get range. smaller when they fry them, obviously. So obviously, they might yeah. be quarter pounder when they start. They might be. I think they're a little smaller because I think that's part of their allure is the thinness and the yes, smallness. Like yes. just makes it. So I get four of them. So I'm a fat fuck. I get it. You're not. I, I know. I love it. Did you know that you could go up to 100 by 100? Shut the front door. Ladies and gentlemen, go on the Googs. Dr- First of all, do a couple shots before <laughs> you do any of this. Then go, I feel like looking up random shit on the internet. And then type in in space, the letter N only, space O-U-T, 100 space X space 100. And there are pictures. And the thing is like four feet long. And be, they, be, be careful when you type in in and out. Because <laughs> if you, a guy at work did this one time. No. A, a, we, I was at work and a a a um my uh, two jobs ago at direct at direct I'm alliance doing that as we speak. at direct alliance he typed in and out in and out.com and of course a porn site came up but he was not an employee he was like a contractor that was helping us with some phone stuff and uh, a porn site came up well the they porn must site was it. bought by in and out so they must have bought it <laughs> yeah. but um it was we're like oh my god because it was right when the first one was going to open and he was super excited because, oh my God, when are they going to open? And it was in and out dot com and there was a wiener and some boobies and he freaked I like, out. But I like hot dogs. I, I mean, think Sonic hot dogs are good. I, right? So it's in, it's in the letter N as in Nancy out. But I just typed it complete. I-N-A-N-D-O-U-T and it looks like okay, the, so they, the they, restaurant they, bought it and they, it's now in hyphen and hyphen out. There you go. Com. Anyway, be careful so. if there's kids around what you're doing. Yeah, and and don't do the in out with or around sure. children. Uh, anyway, no. you can get a hundred damn patties. Yeah, a hundred by a hundred. And it. Do you want to see the picture? I'm gonna. Sure. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Uh, hello, Twitter world. I'm gonna get Chris's live reaction to this hundred by hundred oh, while he talks more. I mean, so I talked about mine. I got a four by four. I, That's I, a beautiful looking sandwich, yeah, though, isn't the two, it? You know, the double double to me, double double with fries and a drink is enough. I don't. I, I could eat more than that, but then I don't feel good or I want to take a nap, etc. So I just don't. I, 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 the double double is just enough, you know. See, that's just dumb, dude. That's well, just that is, is not the reaction I expected that, from you. I mean, it's I respe- amazingly I, awesome. I expected this. I expected two words from you. Yes, sir. Challenge accepted. accepted. No, nah, dude, I'm no, not. I know, I'm just kidding. that's just dumb. No, that. Well, if, imagine if it came out the way it went in. <laughs> if you just one person ate that, oh, shut up. That'd be awful. I'm not. Come on, I'm only flirting with poop stuff. I'm not actually getting in there. This one time. Um, I guess I was home from college and uh, on Thanksgiving day, um, uh, my cousin Jose went to in and out and he got a four by four at like 11 o'clock on Thanksgiving morning. And then at three or four o'clock we, we have in Thanksgiving dinner and he's like, I'm not even really hungry. <laughs> and I'm like, what dude? I, I, so I was like 20, he was 22. I'm like what? He goes, he goes, I had a four by four like three hours ago. I'm like, why? You're, we're ha- we have a 21 pound bird, dude, and seven pounds of mashed potatoes and four pies. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but he had a four by four on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> what's his name? And what's his number? Because he sounds like my kind of bro. I'll he sounds like number. a bro I want to hang out. I, I'm not interested. I'm not going to lie. He's a rock star. I don't like many people the way I'm supposed to like people. I like. I love humanity and I love people and I want everyone to do better. But on a personal level, this is going to, no, that sounds awful, but I don't like everyone, but I do love, I truly do love them, but I have a hard time liking people. And I think that's how well, I you guys really wouldn't is. have to talk. I'm Cause judgy. you'd be shoving your faces. I'd be like, <laughs> no, you'd be like, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. And then you'd be eating burgers and I'd be licking his arms. I'd be licking uh, the grease off his be arms. No with a bat. arm licking of other people. No oh, touching. Just your own. No touching. No touching. No touching. No touching. Yes. Ice cream sandwich. T bone. No touching. <laughs> We're watching this video, by the way. I'm just playing this so Woodsy can throw up. God, man. Um, but uh, they're wearing gloves, dude. Mira. Are, oh my god. <laughs> mira, mira. That is. Oh my god, that's amazing. 
That was mean, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're watching two very <laughs> ambitious people trying to shove a hundred by hundred down they're their They're way gullet. too skinny. That's yeah. They're not going to have it. Well, Kobayashi put like hot dogs out his gullet, and he was a little guy. <laughs> so. The Black Widow was 98 pounds, and she won the hot dog eating competition. Like, of all of them, not even of the women. Like, beat everyone. Wow. She can take dogs. She can take wieners. <laughs> what? What? That's the truth. She likes the hot dogs. <laughs> well, maybe she was on inandout.com, and she thought that was She's what like, she was She's like, hey, now. Hey, now. All right, so we're there. So, okay. side time. Side time, I really struggled. Tell, yeah, tell me your process I, on I how you I had no idea to where to go because the, in the 80s, Carl's Jr. had the crinkle fries, and they were always cooked correctly. In my opinion, they were always crispy. Not burnt, not well done, but crispy. They were, all, they were always cooked right. And then Carl's went away from that, and they went to the natural fries, and I don't, I don't care for them. So ever since Carl's went away from the fries that I liked, I've never... You know, I don't, McDonald's is fine, blah, 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 blah. So I don't really like, I don't have an entree that I just love. So I, my default is the Chick-fil-A wa- waffle fry. That's what I, that's my, that's what I have to go with. I love the waffle fry idea. And to your point, the crinkle cut. That, for some reason, that is the, like, are you familiar with what a buckyball is? Uh, yeah. So it's basically carbon lined up in a certain way that when you deform it, it goes exactly back to where yeah, it started. Yeah, yeah. The buckyball where yeah, yeah. a lot of people are building in construction and whatnot, and they're building this perfect stuff that won't get deformed. It'll actually come back to shape. That is, that is the buckyball, the waffle, the crinkle, something about the shape of it allows the crispiness to get crispy and le- leaves that potato meat on the inside. Correct. Soft. Correct. I don't know why, but every crinkle cut fry I've had, Pretty much. I, there might be an exception. Of unless course. it's cooked wrong, incorrectly, yeah. like overcooked or something. Has had that crunch with that, the pillow. The yep. Pillow. You know it. And there's a fluffiness to it. So, when they went away from that, went to those natural fries with that skin, I was like, this is not the same stuff. But I get why they did I think they did it for the natural thing. Well, they, you know, it had been so many years doing what they did, so it was time to change it up. I, You know? Yeah. No, I, I get it. And and maybe they were losing. Maybe they felt like they maybe yeah. they got a new vendor. Maybe like, you know, let's go in this natural direction. If we right. add natural to our to our yep. to our lexicon of of stuff, maybe we'll blah, sell blah, more blah, shit. blah blah blah. Totally. So you went with the waffle fry from Chick-fil-A. The waffle fry. The downside to the waffle. I love the shape. I never feel they can get it crunchy enough. I always feel like they're a little I don't want to say undercooked. I don't think they have the ability to get the crispiness that like a critical would yeah because they also have the skin on it too yeah Remember i know and i and i you're right but i'm willing to i'm willing to deal with that yeah. because the texture and the shape is good but if i may sir please i would recommend yes. and and it's going to lead into my side yes. i'm almost going to actually say something that's in line with the conversation oh for once. my god culver's if you if you haven't been to culver's yet not. you have not no sir I recommend it highly because they have crinkle cut fries and they are fucking phenomenal. No way. Now, what's better than their crinkle cut fries? Yes. They have basically mini mozzarella sticks known as cheese curds. No way. So they take globs of white fat (laughs) and dip them in batter and then drop them in melted oil, hot steaming oil. I don't know if fat, deep fried fat, is better than that. And it's the curds. It's like the, you know what curds are like? Yeah. Cottage cheese curd. Yeah, you know the curds had, in the way, yeah, the whole thing. Right. Like the curdy part. Those are the Wisconsin. The yes. And it, they're the Wisconsin cheese. You know, they're because they're from that area. So they're cheese curds. I could like eat a hundred of them and then throw up, throw them all up at the end. But but they're delicious. Just eat 97 and not throw up. I'm going to have to test like which, at which one will it, 96, will the reversal 94. fortune happen? <laughs> I got to 86.3. And that was then it. Just, I'd like 86.3 cheese curds, Do please. they have tater tots there? I don't believe they do. I believe they have, they might have rings, but I haven't tested that. Their crinkle cut and curds stand on their own. They don't okay. need any more. Okay. Just, just so you know. They might have it, but they don't need it. So there's my side, man. 
Thank you, but you have never been there. You can't clap. Well, I like the fact that you went with the curd. Oh, yeah. Something different, right? You know, I dig that. And I will say, my pro- I mean, the McDonald's fry is always the go-to. Where I was struggling was the an- the in and out fries because they're made naturally hand- by hand yeah. every time. Yeah. The problem is there's- the timing on their fries is never enough. Even though it's the correct timing to cook the fry, it's not well done enough for me. So whenever I order fries from in and out, I have to say well done. Okay. So you leave them in a little longer. But they also make, uh, do you remember we talked about this animal style? We actually never talked about what yeah, animal what does style that mean? is. Animal style is fried mustard, onions, and something else on the griddle as they're making it. So it, it just enhances the flavor. It's just like. Mustard, onions, what else? Yeah, I think they put mustard on the patty and like grill it into the pad. It's really good. Yeah. So they kind of, pre, it's kind of like pre mustarded. And then I think they do grilled onions. Maybe we need an in and out expert. Like somebody uh, worked there. Is it, I mean, is the mustard flavor overpowering? No, I think that actually helps mute it a little bit by frying it and into the pad it spreads it out more. So it's not like a hit of mustard. I feel like it's just a lot more balanced flavor. But the onions, I like onions. I like onions fried. So I, that's kind of my allure. They're really brown and sweet and just delicious and little diced pieces. Delicious. Yeah. But I used to get animal, I get fries from an animal style also. Yeah. Which means they put fr- uh, fried onions on it. The Thousand Island sauce as well. I totally yeah. forgot. The Thousand Island, whatever that, what's it called? Fr- uh, in and out sauce, I think they call it. Whatever. And that. So it's that that's the extra thing on the, on the, on the animal house as well. Thousand Island, grilled onions, mustard, fried into the patty. So I do that on the, on the fries well done and add the cheese and they steam it all together and... I'm sorry, that is like the best thing. But I already went to In and Out, and I like to I like to waste gas. I like to drive three places. So yeah. fuck that. I went with Culver's because like deep fried cheese, deep fried fat. You can't go wrong. So that's that's that. And now, now we're down to the to the drink. I think yes, sir. I wish we, we don't even have a sound effect for for drinking. Actually, we do. What? Yeah, you can keep talking. I can keep talking while you look for the for the sound. So I was. Uh... I don't hear nothing, bro. You know? Very faint. It's very faint. I made it quiet. I should have done this one. You turn up the volume on the board? Oh, you call me at the swallow, you fuck. <laughs> Do it again. No, I'm done. We're, right, not, we're not overboarding this, bro. All right. That's so, like waterboarding. Um, I was very uh, torn between two. Uh, one was the Sonic... Diet cherry limeade. We t- we're talking for two hours about absolute fucking lutely nothing, and I fucking love you, man. And homophobia just- at Chick Fil A. <laughs> okay, so sorry. The cherry limeade. The diet, Please explain the diet yeah. cherry limeade. Well, we had to start with the cherry limeade of our friend. Was it Felicia that? that uh, hit the home no, run? I didn't know who that was. Oh, okay. Um, cherry limeade and diet cherry limeade. Yeah. Now the diet cherry limeade is a newer addition. Yes, to correct. This. Do you remember the cherry limeade when we were in college, though? No. Like, okay. So I don't we think I ever went there now. until recently. What's in a cherry limeade? Uh, I don't really know. Cherry lime Sprite, basically. Okay, great. Yeah, it's, it's so, very light and refreshing, and I like that. It's bright. It has yeah. this... And it's the crisp. Sprite helps. Yeah, crisp. It's very crisp. The lime cuts yeah. into it even better than, li- than so lemon So it's diet, wood. Sprite, and flavoring, basically, is what Base, you're saying. Yeah, with flavoring, okay. yeah. But that's the thing. That's what's great about the Are those zero. Baja Blast that they're drinking? Yes. That is, oh my god, that's fucking on you stupid YouTube. These, fucking synchronicity, these chicks bro. Chicks are watching are drinking we're, Baja Blast on this Taco Bell challenge on YouTube behind us. Okay, so these skinny Asian people apparently like to eat hundred by hundred in and outs and then go to Taco Bell and eat some other challenge. And they're drinking that goddamn Baja Blast in that fresh This is how synchronicity works, bro. bro that's how it works. Bro. Totally. That's telling you to get one and then throw it up. I don't think I want to go it. there. Don't. Don't ever go there and don't go there. Yes, yes. Whatever you say, sir. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I had to decline the diet cherry limeade. Why? Because I had to go with the strawberry shake from in and out And I'm not a strawberry fan, dude. That's how good it is. I'm a chocolate guy. I love everything chocolate. The more chocolate, the better. If you can put double chocolate on a chocolate on a chocolate on a chocolate cake, I would get it. The chocolate overload on the chocolate mud pie, go. That's me. But the strawberry shake at in and out and I know I've already used an in and out card. I don't give a shit. The strawberry shake is so good. It's almost as if 
because they use real ice cream to make the shake. It's it's like you're drinking ice cream. It's so amazing. I yes. Both love you. Yeah. And fucking hate you, sir. Oh, Mina. Because honestly, yeah, we didn't even need to have waste two hours of our listeners' time or our time. We could have just gone a fucking in and out and gotten a two uh, double double animal with, style with well with onions. Yeah, a four by four animal style. Yeah, animal fry well done. Yeah, regular fry well done. Yeah, and two strawberry fucking shakes because that I was that's my other drink, bro. High five. Shut up for real. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I also was struggling between no your way. Two. I had I had no idea. When I go to In and Out, it is a four by four animal, animal fries well done, strawberry shake, and that strawberry shake is done before I even leave In and Out. I just <laughs> and they're too small. And it's so small. You need like and, a thirty two ounce. And it's so fucking thick. Getting it through the straw and then getting the straw whatever's in the straw out because you need to like almost lick the inside. If yeah. I had an Ardvar ant eater, you need to like the, cut. Get home with an exacto knife. Oh, and then lick cut the, the in- straw in half. I'm gonna do a YouTube on that YouTube tutorial how to get the most out of your in and out shake sh- uh, strawberry shake, but not in and out. That fucking strawberry. It's something about it. Yeah. I just. Yeah. That's what it is. It's literally. And then it goes. Because it's empty. <laughs> so, like, that whole time is just thick, it's and I just suck seconds. as long as Man, I can. Man, that shake's gone. I pro- I, and I don't get a headache either. That's the yeah. other thing. It's almost like it's almost just warm enough. I to really knock try down. to enjoy it. And, I can't. And I, like, take a sip and chill. It's already melted by that. I, 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 We're in I, Arizona, man. What do you want? I know, us? fucker. But <laughs> hey, fucker. What up, fucker? <laughs> <laughs> what are they, bitches? So, I, I, I had to go. I had to take the strawberry shake. I think it's a great idea. And honestly, you and I could have just gone in and out. Like, so we're going to say in and out's probably our favorite overall. Yeah. I don't, the fries aren't great. I mean, get them well done. Have you ever gotten them well done? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're okay. They are. They're weirdly under season. They're like weirdly under season, but it really is the freshness. Cause they, they're, make they're them fine. Like, that just, they're not overwhelming to me. And they're not, they're, they're underwhelming. They're just, eh, whatever. Right. And I think it's because of their freshness. It doesn't have as much of the preservative stuff injected into it like to make flavor god i love preservatives aren't they delicious that mo- that mono pseudoglotamy is d- fucking great I love with a nice chianti oh, and some fava beans yes msgs gmos all that shit i love that oh i want some msgmos man i'm That's so bad i'm so hungry now i want to start a band a boy band yes. msgmo <laughs> <laughs> um so to your point yeah i once again i need to waste fuel and I need to ruin the environment with my fossil fuel burn. Yeah. So my drink of choice was once again between your two, but because I had not gone to Sonic yet and I had already gone to in and out, I stepped away from the strawberry shake and I have gone to your diet, Route 44 lim- Cherry Limeade. Because being diabetic, okay, the Route 44 Cherry Limeade during my college years and and when I grew, when I was growing up as a youngster and had a lot of trauma and food issues that got me the diabetes yeah the diet cherry limeade allows me to keep reliving my childhood without dying from it i guess so thank you sonic yay sonic that was real nice so let's get your full meal again uh in and out double double with cheese onions the chick fillet or filet i'm just He's salivating, salivating. and like uh, waffle fries, and the In and Out strawberry shake, double double, onions, yeah, waffle fried from the chicks, yeah, strawberry fucking shake is so good. Oh, it's so it's just like a scoop of ice cream thrown yeah. into a fucking cup, and then you just suck really hard. That's pretty much all you do. All right, that's correct. What M- about you, sir? Mine was uh, I believe it was a four by four animal style. From the ins and the outs, but not the porn site. <laughs> just, just to be just clear. to clarify, in and out dot com. <laughs> um, and then it was the uh, cheese curds from Culver's. So good, as good as they are, I would actually say almost underrated. As as a side, almost an underrated side, because I think people are like cheese curds, whatever, and then they pop one in their mouth, like, what the fuck? What have I been missing? And then the finals, the Route 44, obviously had to be the big side, the bladder And Route 44 means 44 ounce. 44 ounce, correct. Okay. They have like a medium, a large, and a Route 44. Nobody in nobody on this side of the microphone, neither you nor I go small. Brother. I get the we 30. Go big. Well. We go, well, you, 
Yeah. I don't. I go big or go home. I go big and go home in a body bag or a <laughs> casket. But I do that. I go big. So. Well, that's been some fucking interesting two hours of wasted time. God's help us. My Lord. Brought to you by Rolaids and uh, what was the other one? Pepto Bismol. Tom, Tom's Pepto Bismol. Milk of Magnesia. Little yes. Phyllis, mom. The one that coats is the one we need. Upset stomach diarrhea. Do, 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 <laughs> do. Upset stomach diarrhea. Uh, that's been it. That um, was a great jingle. I hope that you're still listening. Hey, Twitter world. What are your three selections? Yeah. Can we want to know. We do want to know. Would you select a kale salad? As a fucking side? Hey, you know what? If you do, that's cool. That's your thing. Yeah, it is totally cool. Who are we to judge? Yeah, it's like freedom of religion. Freedom of, freedom right, of fried shitty pickles. I need to have choice. some fried pickles. It's been a long time. You know, I haven't had a fried pickle in a long time. I just like kosher dills, though, because I'm, I'm pretty... I'm Jewish adjacent, living where yeah, I grew up. right. So, you know, I love kosher dill everything i i remember there's this delicatessen it's actually fucking called a delicate it's a fucking diner ben and irv's delicatessen shout out to ben and irv's back east yeah they make great lox great white fish oh what the hell is this they make the great greatest white fish in the world oh this is the best the best white fish ever anyway <laughs> that was terrible <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was really bad. It was almost as bad as a Richard Dreyford impression. My Richard Dreyford <laughs> is still, by the way, it's actually a very good impression. It's fucking horrible. Should we do the you know, 15 we, worst impressions that I can do? You know what you should do is check marks you do Richard Dreyfus. Do you know what it's not? Do you know what, what my Richard Dreyfus impression is not? No. It's not Jess Garcia's Trump impression. Oh, that's... Which, hey, hold on. Before, before we call this tonight, because this is the first time we recorded since... I don't remember which one it is, so I got to make sure I'm doing this properly. But um, Jess Garcia, you have earned our respect for the fucking Trump impression of Trump impressions. You'd like to receive the award for most Bantha, most factual impression? That's the award that you get for that. So thank Yay. you. On that note, we're probably going to call it uh, an, an episode until we record our next one. Jace. Thanks for still listening. Thanks, thanks everybody. Are. Thanks for the three people who are still out there. Yeah. Subscribe. Follow us on Apple. Please, guys, we're, we just want to connect with people. We hope that like people listen to us just in the background and just let them know that there's another voice out there that's on their side. Because even if we disagree with you, we're, that doesn't mean we're not on your side. Yeah. We still want you to be you. So, hey, check us out. Give us a listen. Rate us on Apple, please. We're, we're still trying to get new and noteworthy. We're having a lot of buzz with the square one, obviously, but we... We just want to do people right. Yes, absolutely. Alexa, order me some Taco Bell. Alexa, play my shopping list. And on that note, thank you so much for listening to us. Please, Beer Googles, Beer Googles, Beer Googles, www.beergoogles.com, that double O, double, double E, double O, double G. We've got knockedconscious.com. They go to the same Podbean site. It's so easy. Yeah. Go on Apple. Apple has both of our podcasts on one site. So you only have to click once. I mean, think about that. You don't have to click to two separate places to get both of our You're podcasts. You're a great salesperson. That's pretty impressive, don't you think? It waxes, it dines, it, it julienne fries. The Bassomatic 5000. And on that, we're going to get drunk on some Dan Aykroyd Hells shit. yeah. Actually, you got to some tequila over there for I you. I do. Sir, thank you again for, for having this with us. Thank you. I love you, man. Love you too. I truly do. Too damn and, and I do truly love... I love... The good in humanity, and it hurts when I see the bad. I agree, man. That's all it is. I don't yeah. think I'm ever mad at hum- at the bad. I just am hurt, and it comes out. It shows as hurt, and that that creates frustration and anger. But it's not it's not designed that way, man. It's just we want to see good in people. We want, we want to smile and laugh. And we want happy. everybody to have kale salad. No, we know. <laughs> we only want our enemy. Fuck we kale. should eat kale because that'll make us live longer. Probably. Fuck kale. Hashtag? Wrap it up, bro. Okay. Dollar, Press the button. Thanks, everybody. Sign. Thanks, guys. Have a great Have a day. Great day. Bye.